more do you want from me? More. How much more successful do you want me to be? More successful. How many records can my records break? More records. But, but I'm the best. But are you a different animal and the same beast? What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? The record buttons on. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah, start that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, we was in uh, we was in Miami. I was in Miami. Well, my old lady at the time. Uh, when was that shit? 20, uh, 2017, Yeah. So I was going down there for a little R and R. She was already going down there to go see Chance before we would started really kicking it. Um. But she was like, shit, I'm going the same weekend anyway. But then we started kicking it, so I'm like, well, fuck it then. It'll be a little vacation scenario. Yeah. So I knew, um, uh, I knew homies that's homies with them. Okay. Um, they made clothes for them and all that type of right. shit. So, you know, it's like, fam. So um, when I found out about Chains, I just hit them up on the wind, like, hey, y'all happen to gonna be in Miami, you know, this same time. time like, yeah. some, oh, yeah, we down there, bro. I'm like, oh, okay, bet. Pull hey. up. Yo, you talking so, hey, you know, say, I got you, bro, Back, backstage. I'm like, yeah, yeah, do it for her, you know what I'm saying? She a Chance fan, you know, a little surprise, you know, mm -hmm. step up the game, you know what I'm saying? Let these other niggas know you got to bring your gang, you feel me? I heard that. So, um, you know, we sitting in nosebleeds at first. I see, <laughs> <laughs> I look up in the Raptors, I see the Jordan jersey hanging up in the Raptors in the Mar in, in the double A in, in the Dan Marino jersey which right. is hilarious they got a Dan Marino jersey <laughs> hanging up in that shit in the Miami Heat stadium which is funny hilarious next, to, funny. next to the Michael Jordan jersey which okay. was which is fine I think they the only uh, only Ooh. other arena that got Michael Jordan uh, retired yeah. So anyway, so I get the text. I'm gonna pull on downstairs. So I'm like, come on, slide. So what you talking about? Once you put the I once you me. put the Michael Jordan jersey in there, you just lost all respect for yourself. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm just putting everybody jersey. I was just saying like, everybody, bro. Right? I was looking for Trick Daddy black T-shirt to build that. At least Trick Daddy, bro. bro. Trick that a black tee or a dicky shirt could have been hanging or something. Yeah, yeah, at least Rick Ross' bro. old sweatshirt when he was fat got to be hanging up. Yeah, something thing. like it that. It definitely got to be a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, the trick is yeah, yeah, for real. So, so we get down there uh, and and um, she tells him we on the floor like yeah we on the floor like I you know it's a little surprise <laughs> let you hang out with the celebs let you meet Chance and you know do you oh my god you know so it's cool so we down in um what the uh, oh. Sorry about that. Um, where the sound of people be at and shit, like they be controlling the sound. So we sitting there. So we like a lot of like Chicago, like a lot of people from Chicago came down for this show because like the last day of the tour or some shit, and everybody like coming to Miami anyway. So um, a lot of like famous Chicago cats down there, and then uh, King Louis was down there. Mm. So I'm like, oh damn, King Louis, bro, what's happening, bro? For sure, right. hey, it was all love, you know. Um, uh, uh, what that nigga name is? Um, Javale McGee. Mm -hmm. um, he was there. A couple other NBA niggas was there. So now after the show, we all go backstage in the heat locker room. Mm. Um, Cause that's where it was at, posted. So King Louis got like a room, Chance got a room. So we all in there just chilling, posted with Chance. She having the time of her life, pictures and all that. Chance's brother was there and whatnot. So it's like four in the morning and my dogs, and we finna go to Koyo Taco in Wynwood. Like we, <laughs> we book in the Uber. All right. He told us, bro, we finna go get tacos. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we finna go slide. So we done call the Uber. We come out. Uh, that nigga Chance's brother run out of nowhere. Man, where the fuck y'all going, bro? Chance, the coldest hoop, and we finna go to live right now. 
Be like, nigga, we just ordered the Uber to go to to go to Koyo, nigga. Like, what you talking about? <laughs> So I want taco. Yeah, who want taco? <laughs> so, Not pussy. This nigga Chance ordered. Nigga Chance ordered. That's funny. <laughs> we that all pussy. Funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> that nigga Chance ordered two Sprinter vans full of niggas, and we had the club live. <laughs> And we go through Club Live like at, like fucking like Goodfellas. Like we go through the kitchen in that bitch, bro. Niggas dabbing there. Oh shit, you know, I'm like, bro, we really living like Goodfellas right now. <coughs> now mind you, we walking in this club, toe the fuck down. My dog got on real tree tights, Crocs. I got on the jumbo shrimp fitted for anybody in the Jacksonville area, you know what I'm saying? I had on all the pants, I had on Air Force Ones, but Lady got on, you know, flats and all that. We we not dressed for Club Live at all. No, no, we got on a, no, you got, you got on a tuxedo to go in Club Live. Yeah, li- like literally, like you, yeah. And I'm in this bit with a jumbo shirt fitted on minor league <laughs> baseball. <laughs> So you can't you can't buy that bit on MLB.com. That nigga say a jumbo fitty. Yeah, nigga had the jump, you know what I'm saying? Jumbo shrimp, man. Niggas you, gotta, you gotta actually go to the stadium and You gotta the actually shrimp. go to the stadium and get the Jacksonville jumbo shrimp fitted. Like that was some real, real localized <laughs> shit. So they walk you through the kitchen, which is like um underneath the stairs to get to the fountain blue, cut through the kitchen, you pop up in the middle of the club live, and then you be right in the middle, like of the uh, where the couches and shit at for like the uh, bottle service shit. Right. So they instantly come through and give you a glass of champagne. Security blocking everything instantly? off. Wait, instantly. wait, instantly? Instantly. As soon as, as, soon hey, as, as, soon as ass cheeks hit the couch, <laughs> nigga, drinks coming out. I look one way, I turn back around, see on the tail about the size of this fucking Crown Royal bottle, pop out of nowhere talking to Chad. I'm like, what the fuck going on? This is a Thursday in Miami. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> So I'm like, damn, security blocking everything, bro. I told security, hey, bro, I got to use the bathroom. Oh, oh, bet. All right, let's, let's slide. I'm like, let's slide. Mm-hmm. Escorting a nigga to the bathroom. I couldn't believe this shit. What the bathrooms shit. look like at Club Lil? For you need to escort. I mean, they seem pretty standard bathrooms, but I guess because I was on bottom service, like, it was straight. Fuck it, we in the room. Um... <laughs> But the funniest part, so Chance ended up performing at Live that night. And usually they do like two songs. So he did uh, whatever the fuck and whatever the fuck part two, you know. Oh. Um, <laughs> I want to help you out. Yeah, yeah, you didn't give any I clues. Really have no you didn't give any clues. Oh, oh, I don't listen to that nigga like that. Yeah. So. We, we don't want no problems with me and, and, oh, okay. and, and okay. another song. I really do not remember. But he came out of nowhere, bro. Tell my bro, hey, just for Miami, I'm going to do one more song, a third song. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> that nigga performed the Kit Cut commercial. Whoa. <laughs> well, they should have jumped him. And they just <laughs> give me a break. I said, oh, this nigga is wild. It's like, <laughs> serious. <laughs> Damn the fuck serious. Green ass nigga. <laughs> you had to give him that. Yeah, you had to. That's this fair. nigga did a Kit Cut. A right. Kit Cut commercial. Okay. I don't even remember him rapping in that commercial. Like okay. That. He was. He just sung that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that nah, was, that's not how you close out any show. <laughs> that was the last fucking, <laughs> especially I live. It Them bitches up. was probably throwing that ass in circles. Man, that nigga, nigga say, "I'm gonna do bro, one more song." These niggas was taking pictures of us like we was some goddamn top dogs. Like, bro, who the fuck is these niggas? Bro? <laughs> I, I was like, bro, hey, get these fucking phones away from me, dog. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> that's hilarious. It was a different. It was a whole different lifestyle. I believe that. I do believe that. And I cannot go back to Club Live because I went in like that. <laughs> so, nigga hey. talking about, yeah, we pulling in? Nah, Jack, I done had the Club Live experience. I can't go back, bro. Right. <laughs> I cannot. Yeah, nah, when we was down in Miami, this chick asked uh, me and Russell if we was going to live tonight. And we was like, oh, shit, what's up? What's the play? She was like, oh, well, it's like $150 to get in. Whew. I was like, shit, I mean, I can find pussy on the strip. Like, yeah. I, I don't need to. <laughs> I'm all right. For $40. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A fraction of the price. <laughs> so yeah, like, $110 off of that. Yeah, like, my God. That's the Reddit discount. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real nigga discount. Straight up. Hey, but real quick, I'm actually glad we got my nigga Malk in the studio. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Hey. Of course, I mean, it's always a pleasure to have, you know what I'm saying, a, a real legend. 
Yeah, but, uh, he the mayor, bro. The Jacksonville mayor. You know what I'm saying? This is a special occasion, of course. But I actually segue to this to to bring light to another situation. So all weekend we was recording, um, working on our next project and such. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Shout out to Groundwork Media, my dog Frost, hey, Eddie Bravo, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The whole team, everybody came through, showed yeah. a lot of love. Frost um, away, yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, Frost is a fucking genius. So if yeah. y'all on Twitter, follow Frost the Wave God, follow my nigga Eddie Bravo, that's E D D Y B R A V E A U X. I think there's an underscore at the end of that. I don't know, but it might be. But yeah, he does. Yeah, shout out so, Eddie. Yeah, sir. Next, I gotta shout out my dog, Justin. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> little dog, yeah. Your protege. Uh, yeah, my little dog, little protege. Also, a, a featured guest on Random Ass Podcast before. Yeah. Indubitably. So we record. Now, my, mind you, for for y'all who don't know, I'm a peanut butter jelly. Enthusiast, you oh, know. Yeah. Like, I know this funny. I know this shit. Russell this fell thing, out his seat. Like, I know, know this shit. funny. This gotta be. I know, know this shit. Hilarious. Oh my god. This right, thing so Russell just did a backflip out the seat, bro. <laughs> I know that shit. I might wait. I might run the footage on my phone. <laughs> so check this out. All right, I bring to the studio. Like, all right, we leave at six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish my show, right? <laughs> We got, <laughs> we got over 15 hours booked You know what I'm saying Like we literally locked in mm-hmm. I ended up recording From 7am Saturday Till 10, 10.30 Sunday You know what I'm saying Like no bullshit We slept for two hours Alright So Going in I'm like Alright That's a lot of time that's a lot of money if we eating out all day, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. we did eat out quite a bit, but I'm like, yo, I'm going to bring some peanut butter and jelly to this bit because, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a way to a nigga soul. So I, fuck with it. I got the bread sitting out. I got everything sitting out. I'm outside smoking and shit. Niggas is like, yo, we finna make some sandwiches. <laughs> I mean, three, four niggas got regular ass <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> And next thing I know, this nigga Justin, like I said, I'm a, me, Russell, uh, my dog Tarad, Quan, we all outside, right? Shout out to Fourth Quarter Quan, man. Fourth Quarter Quan, who's up? Quan. We all sitting outside. This nigga Justin opened the door and does one of these. He is carrying this heavy ass peanut butter <laughs> sandwich behind his back. What? Bruh, I got the, I got the footage right here. Bruh. I'm about to show him. It was ignorant. Oh, that's right. Show Devin. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That's ignorant. <laughs> you don't need that much peanut butter, bro. You don't need bruh. that much peanut butter. It is nothing. He knew but, he had too much because he peed out the fucking dough before y'all before he went out there. It's yeah, nothing but peanut check, butter bro. on the sandwich. That's right? a cry for help. That is a cry for help, man. Check on that man. Y'all laughing. Check on that nigga. <laughs> Something going on at the house, bro. But hold up. Here's the funny part. Yeah, he need counseling. We come back in, right? Oh, God, and I'm like, man, why y'all let Justin make a double deck of peanut butter? That's the butter? jar right there. Yeah, that's the jar. That's like the jar. No bullshit. He, he used the he entire He broke the jar. knife. Yeah. But the crazy thing yeah. is, that nigga, like, there's no way he used a butter knife, bro. That nigga put his hand in that bitch. <laughs> that nigga said. <laughs> Maybe they won't notice. Like, nah, nigga. Bread, can you imagine no. that peanut butter slapping on bread? Bread talking about bro, bro. that shit hit like a brick. Bro. Ain't so, no way. Did he have a? Did he have a cup of milk? <laughs> no. Are you serious? No. That this nigga didn't drink nothing. Wait, wait, nothing. Wait. What the wait. fuck, bro? Justin, Justin is a monster. <laughs> yes. Justin, Justin, Justin. That nigga's a demon. Y'all need to check serious. on that nigga. That that nigga like, what, 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 Justin, wherever you are right now, call, text me, bro. Yeah, bro. I need to hear from you, talk, man. Talk to that nigga, bro. I need to hear from you, bro. Like, shit. Look, bro. Look, look, bro. You, you, bro, you my little dog. I, I can't have it, bro. What, 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 let me tell me what's going on, bro. You can talk to me. Nah, Mal. You can talk to me. Just let me be, Mal. You can talk to me, bro. Whatever's going on at the house, bro. Let me, bro. I got you, bro. I don't know if I can get a back this time, bro. Mo, I don't know if I can get a back this time, bro. Hey, bro, you need people. (laughs) You need people backspace. Call me, bro. We'll figure it. So see, nah, you don't need do that it. much peanut butter, bro. It's against the law. Let me now, eat this damn sandwich. Against the law. They had that much fucking peanut butter. <laughs> now I feel really bad for what I'm about to tell y'all. 
What he did you was worse than that. It's worse. They say this nigga mixed creamy and crunchy. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I can do that. It's Justin. already mixed together. Justin. What Justin. is he going through? Justin. Justin. Man, Justin. Hey, man, Justin. check on that nigga, bro. Justin. Please, I'm telling you. Call, you know where the shop at. Come, come see me. Come see me. Like, that nigga said that shit like a man. He said, they said. He mixed the crust. <laughs> with oh, the my God. I came back what? inside. I'm Even like, though that's still peanut butter, I just can't imagine what that look like. Bro, why don't you need to do that? Why? Did you see how thick that sandwich was? Yes. Bruh, bruh, I'm gonna show the camera. Bruh, that I'm sandwich sound like. <laughs> like, that's what that sandwich sound that's like. That bro. sandwich definitely weighed a pound, bruh. At least a heavy pound. Bro, y'all got Russ in the corner crying because of this shit, bro. It's all right, Russ, bro. I don't know what's wrong with him, dog. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get Justin to call him and figure out what the fuck. Hey man, hang out, hey man, hang out. With, take that nigga out this weekend, bro. Like, take, show him his, his other things to be grateful for. See, it's a cry out. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, he, you want to go back to the strip club, bro? I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah, y'all remember uh, Nutty Professor when that nigga was lifting the Snicker bars? <laughs> <laughs> that's what that nigga was doing with the peanut butter sandwich, like. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga finish the sandwich and be like, "What's up?" Bruh, it's no I'm reason. I'm working with. on my games. <laughs> Send a nigga to rehab, bro. We check the nigga in the night. I almost want to have an intervention for that yeah, nigga, man, bro. Like, hey, We're gonna have to invite him onto the podcast and talk to him, man. Like whatever you going through, bro. Like it's we here for. Cause him, last bro. time he was on here, he was talking about poking dead squirrels or some shit. Like, what? You remember that? Yeah, what? Justin is definitely a serial killer. Poking dead nigga, man. He's like, we was, we was poking squirrels. Yeah, it was like, uh, we, had, we wouldn't even talk about that shit. Ooh. We was talking about something else. We was crying laughing, and then we just stopped. We were like, what? Yeah, we was just talking about something else. Bro, I was like, hey, man, you might be a serial killer. We might have to bring him on, like, within the next week or so. Oh, yeah, so you, y'all got to check in or he be, he be so cold with, like, yeah, I was poking squirrels. Justin, bro. <laughs> I was poking squirrels. I'm like, man, you take that shit outside, bro. Oh god. Oh. Oh man, hey, no bullshit. That gave me the laugh for the fucking hey 2020. That started my year. Yeah. That started my year off silent. That's crazy. Bro, I, I needed never, that laugh. I ain't laugh like that in a minute. Bro. Yeah, bro. I, I ain't never that. seen peanut butter like that in my life. Bro, bro. I wish y'all could have been there for the shit, nigga. When they when he came outside <laughs> and looked, I knew something was up. But bro, legit had the peanut butter sandwich like this, and he said, "That nigga whip that bitch bro, around." Bro. Bro, he knew bro, what he was bro. doing. That's crazy. No, bro. Nah, to be honest, bro. Bro. Honest, bro. be honest, bro. bro. A sandwich like that, I would be ashamed to eat yeah. that in front of you. You gotta, you gotta pursue the happiness that shit. You gotta take it in the bathroom and eat that shit. That's why I cry. <laughs> <laughs> See, they gonna judge me. They gonna judge me. That nigga be eating in the tub. Hey, <laughs> be knock- <laughs> nigga be knocking up the. Hey, what you doing in there? Nothing. <laughs> You all right? Yeah, like, come on that room. Come on that room. Bro, the thought of this nigga eating peanut butter and jelly crying hey, and fucking hurry up, I got a piss. I oh got a pee. No, stop. I'm, I ain't there yet. I'm taking a shower. I'm sick. Got in the shower water while they shit eat that sandwich. <laughs> so niggas can hear you. That's hilarious. <laughs> Trying to no. muscle it down. Like. <laughs> so they can't hear you choke. Choke eat that big ass sip. Bruh. Like, uh, there was so much peanut butter, I was wondering, like, nigga, are, are you okay? Bruh, I was He's like, not. this nigga ain't gonna eat for a week. Bruh, that nigga is not okay. That nigga still stuffed up from today. Well, what day was that he did that shit? Saturday? Saturday. Yeah, that nigga still stuffed up, bro. <laughs> I say that nigga gonna be constipated. That nigga be that nigga be um, that nigga be eating rice chips for the past week. Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm worried for my dog, bro. I'm worried. I'm worried. Oh man, oh, that shit man. was hilarious. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I told that nigga Quan. I said I got a story to tell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of guys. Bro. That nigga did that shit like uh, he was on the black the uh, the Pink Panther cartoons, bro. Wow. Like, <laughs> that nigga probably <laughs> that nigga that nigga bro, probably never go that, 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 that nigga probably never go eat peanut butter again because of y'all. Nah. He's never eat peanut butter again. Not in never. front of people. Not in front of people. At least he gonna have a bad experience with that shit, bro. Dog. That is ridiculous, bro. Bro, 
I mean, and he knocked it down too. That bit was gone <laughs> in like five <laughs> minutes, bro. For real? No yeah. water. No None to drink. That's that nigga ain't crazy. Have I told you he was a serial killer, bro. Y'all ain't had no check sodas you. in it? <laughs> Check so that's a whole nother meal. That nigga would have <laughs> got right. stuck again. It would have melted the peanut butter. <laughs> and it would have. I don't know what's in that shit, but it definitely would eat through like some like a table. <laughs> that nigga eat through my chest. Yeah, don't, that shit that shit that. Don't, don't waste that shit on nothing. That shit would have ate through, bro. <laughs> no way check so on the peanut shit, butter. It would have straight. Whatever chemical they use to make that, they don't, it, it don't exist no more. <laughs> oh my god. That, that bit be thick as a shape. He used two jars Different. of peanut butter? Bruh. I can tell you this. Like I said, he had to use his paw. That yeah, looked like, yeah, look look like a chew jar, bro. Devin, you know how much peanut butter we had at the house? Nigga, that was... Nigga. Yeah, I took it from the house. Yeah, but... And one came back half. <laughs> oh That's why I was thinking came back with a little bit of peanut butter left. I mean, bro. it's a little bit left. Hey, Jess, you owe, you owe some peanut butter. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That nigga, that that nigga, nigga kills, we fuck with peanut butter, That bro. nigga kills, grabbed the jar of crunchy, <laughs> flipped it upside down and said, Look! <laughs> that shit oh made me God. laugh even harder. No, I thought you said he was making a sandwich too. Nah, bro. That that He's shit made me laugh. It's like it's some ketchup. Like the like peanuts was gonna got, fall out or something. Yeah, like niggas like, like, got that peanut. Like nigga, are you serious? You serious? But no bullshit. That nigga Justin scraped that bit clean, bro. Like that's the cleanest I done ever seen a peanut butter jar in my life. Hey man, you gonna have to come see us by that peanut butter. <laughs> I was like, God <laughs> damn, God oh, damn. For real, bro. Oh George Washington Carver gonna haunt that nigga in his sleep. <laughs> oh, he, didn't mean, he didn't mean. He didn't mean. He didn't want you to have a peanut butter famine. And you got too much peanut butter. Now it's gonna be a peanut butter shortage on the on, on the north side. I'd be so damn mad, bro. <laughs> I don't give that a nigga fuck. George Washington Carver he gonna bro, haunt him. Haunting him to tell him It's a peanut uh, butter shortage Is hilarious I, I hope it happened bro the vi- Just the visual of him Do Coming out the door And doing this And you just look out see if you anybody see a, a peanut butter apocalypse <laughs> You ain't oh all the peanut God. butter. No, no, it wasn't. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean to. to. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I, I didn't mean to mix two peanut butters. I just wanted a sandwich. I, I said at the end of the day, I just wanted a sandwich. I, I was hungry. I was hungry. Oh, shit, bro. When I tell you I laugh, man, I said, man. I was dead, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus I, Christ. I'm surprised I'm here today to tell the Eating story. Eating a 10-pound cheese. I'm surprised he here peanut today. Peanut <laughs> Oh my god. He, he here, but he ain't here. He yeah, he ain't here. He damn he sure ain't here. <laughs> y'all need to help that that was, Y'all need to help that man. <laughs> help him. <laughs> oh my god. That nigga probably got a hole in his in his bathroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That nigga, yeah. That nigga yeah. to talk. Punch <laughs> that shit. <laughs> I can't shit. See? <laughs> That's, that's Punch a, a motherfucking hole in there. That's, that's a that's a sick that's a sick boy, right? That is a oh sick God. boy. That boy is sick. Shot bro, bro. He was Shot still eating. Run. I was Shot like, man, good. You a monster, man. Hey, Justin, dog. Hey, I, I don't know if I can take food advice from you, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga serve your ass a. Uh, what 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 he said? A peanut butter sandwich with Percocets? <laughs> Come on, man! I seen that one. That's ignorant, oh. bro. He was talking about them perks. Oh, <laughs> that nigga say, "Hey, turn your back. He might drop a perk on you." This nigga, this nigga, little got it. I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> know. The hey, clearly, he's perks. a dangerous nigga. <laughs> That's wild as fuck. Bro. Don't That's let crazy. don't let him in the kitchen alone. Bro. <laughs> uh, That's funny. You say he snuck out the damn. Kitchen, bro. What is behind? Behind his back, like bro. Like this nigga, a close out picture. Got that shit behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's crazy, bro. Shout out to him, man. Y'all, y'all want to get into it now? Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's 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 kick off these topics. <clears throat> All right, man. We're gonna put, we're gonna pay homage to the goat, man. Today, man. Twenty four seconds. <coughs> 24 seconds Of I what? Like, Silence man Shut the fuck up Take your shots I can't imagine this nigga Shutting the fuck up With 24 nah, seconds Nah don't even Put that on me bro Man I have no reason You ain't to. lying I have no reason to bro <laughs> But alright man This weekend Kobe Bryant died man Sad I still day. can't believe that shit Yeah um, seriously. Well, seriously I'm not gonna believe it bro Fuck it yeah. I ain't even gonna lie Today I started writing a poem For that nigga <laughs> I say damn this hurt 
Sure I gotta man. find a way to get it out. Hey, you might as well. You might be the next Wiz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's just, bro. Hearing that news is seeing like through TMZ. Like I, I thought it was a hoax. I was on Twitter when that shit happened. Yeah, I was on Twitter. And I was like, man, that's a fucking hoax, bro. So I kept looking at other shit. Like I was different parts of social media. That bro. nigga Devin woke me up. That nigga said, yo, you heard Kobe Bryant just died. I was like, no, man, nah, like I can't imagine I was, hearing that news from this nigga. Yeah, bro, seriously, like, you wouldn't believe everybody it. Feel that way? Everybody, 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 believe everybody in this shit. room feel that way. You've killed you killed him as soon as he said it by mistake. He walked back like he came out into the living room. Nigga um, was like, "Yo, Kobe Bryant just died." Turned around and walked out. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> I was in shock, nigga. What the fuck? I was like, "Nah, no." That's he all didn't. the news I had at the time. That's no, all they were saying. That's a lie. That's all that that shit had literally just happened. Hey, man, we got an eviction notice, but hey, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> yeah, literally Kobe just, Bryant. Had, just I can't, happened to I wake just up. I can't imagine this nigga. <laughs> It's nothing serious about it. I was legit hurt, yeah, bro. Nothing I was serious hurt. about it. I was this like, nigga. man, what the fuck? But Kobe, though, the rat, that's, that's crazy. I would joke about Kobe, bro. I would never joke about Kobe. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. That would have been a tough one to joke about. Like, yeah. Yeah. I didn't believe in myself, bro. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna get out there for a while. I'm gonna come back in like five minutes. I was on Twitter. Hit that shit everywhere. Like, yeah. Once I seen that TMZ link, because yeah. oh. that's the thing, though. Like we, like you know, everybody used to like try to bash from TMZ, but then they was always like the first people to get the shit on. They own by so then, like when you see them, I feel like they credible. Like since, they, since they, uh, they, I mean, they credible. Since since everybody, in that, everybody in that office is a lawyer. They're, they own legal. They pretty much own legal teams. But it's like I don't when you, know about that fact. Harvey, the nigga Harvey is a lawyer. He's a lawyer. What else? Everybody else lawyers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga Van Lathan definitely wasn't no fucking lawyer. <laughs> no, he was not. He probably got his shit off. far too that might be, got his might be anti-black what we're saying, but I don't think that nigga you lawyer. You wouldn't represent me. I'll wow. say that. Wow. That nigga be like, let's face it, man. You, you're guilty. <laughs> I mean, now that's all I'm saying. If you did this shit, you're probably guilty. Like, nigga, I'll, like, he's just trying to help you, side, bro. Man. He's trying to help you, bro. Nigga, ain't you supposed to get me off? <laughs> that nigga be a pause. That nigga be like, <laughs> yo, yo man. Did anybody ever cap in here? I pissed the wrong oh, one. Oh, God. God. Damn, I fumbled it. Yeah, 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 that wasn't on purpose. I just watched the nigga like, hey, and, I, and I know it's this button right here. I don't know how I missed it. Because it wasn't necessary. The coma pack. See, I had to catch it before yeah. anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So. This nigga, Professor Xavier. See, had I, not, had I not said pause, my Twitter mention would have been shit. I probably would have deleted my account. I ain't know if he was gonna say it tonight, bro. I was like, man, this nigga Ooh. probably gonna say it. I mean, but we talk about some sad shit right now. I heard that show like, hey, yo, man. I was like, we talk about some serious shit, so nobody, maybe nobody go. I was wrong. Yeah, yeah nah, I, I was had, completely. I, had, I was I had, absolutely wrong. I had to pause for the calls on that one. Yeah, yeah. we just, we just trying to provide some type of entertainment. Of course, everybody know. Yeah. It's a fucked up situation. Yeah, it really is. It really Bruh. is. Uh, some of the shit that I've seen posted, I don't even want to think about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's been quite a bit of the whole, could you imagine what Kobe was telling Gigi as this all happened? Oh, and like, no, bro. You should have even brought that up. Yeah, like, that's too yeah, tough. No, that's too tough. Think about I kept you know seeing shit, and then I kept getting off, and I kept seeing yeah, bullshit, and I yeah. just kept getting I, like, I right. can't. Like, I mean, I couldn't put my phone down when that shit happened. I just, it's just it's fucking crazy. Me. It's still yeah. crazy to me. I tried right? to read every story no that fear, came bro. up. Yeah, it's every like, angle it's bad, that you know what like, I mean. Like, like I read it was so much shit because it was at one point saying that all of them was in there. Yeah. Then then it was saying that Rick Fox. Yeah, was it was in saying there. Yeah, I was like Rick Fox. What the fuck? I mean, <clears throat> none of it. Uh, None of it makes sense now, even you know what I mean. Yeah. But but especially yeah, especially yeah. in the moment, like it, yeah, yeah, that was too much to process. I guess, up. and uh, the whole um, y'all don't know him kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like oh. I have seen people speak to that. Yeah, my thing is this: we don't have a lot of black people that are um um. What's the word that I could say? I guess appreciated in that sense. We don't talk about that enough. Like the black athletes, the black yeah. activists, the black, mm -hmm. you know, rappers even yeah. that don't get involved in a lot of the crazy shit that that name is never muddled through. You know, he had his 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 moment. But even through that, everyone felt like he handled it very tastefully. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so I. 
I look at it to say this. For me, I wasn't a Kobe fan. I hated yeah. Kobe as far as oh, a, yeah. a ball I, player. I, I you know what I'm saying? Because he shat on my team. Yeah, exactly. But at the same time, you 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 love Kobe in that yeah. same regard yeah. for everything he did on the court, his pursuit of greatness. You know what I mean? To be able to commit yourself and sacrifice everything. Too, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. e every day. You know what I mean? In and out. So... For me, like, even being a sports fan, watching him was bittersweet. It's like, man, this nigga finna cook us. Right, for yeah, real. Right. Even if he shoot 100 yeah, shots. Ass, even if yeah. he shoot 100 shots. And on paper, that's a bad night. That nigga went for 50. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shot on every player that played. You know what I'm saying? Across the court. So... Like, it's a major respect to him in that regard, of course. Um... I think even even um, outside of just just basketball, <clears throat> what he did for his family, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah, even even if you hated a nigga, you gonna watch him play, bro. Yeah, at the end of the day, you were like, damn, I, I don't. I fuck yeah, with him, bro, but you, I don't yeah, fuck with him. Even if you hate him, he still was an inspiration. Yes, yeah, in, in, in every way, in yeah. every way. There wasn't, like, one facet, like, oh, man, uh, I like Kobe because of his crossover. Nah, Kobe could do it all. Kobe yeah, would get yeah, down yeah. in the in the paint and, and mm. fight with, you know what I'm saying, any of the centers for a rebound. Yeah. Um, man. I'll tell you bro, the crazy been a part about it. Like, we all, you know, I'm a little bit younger than y'all, but we all kind of run the same thing and how right. I caught the back end of Jordan the last couple of championships. <laughs> and then Kobe came out in 96. And we literally, as we grew up, we literally watched and grew up with Kobe. Yep. Like yeah, we yeah. all watched Kobe grow up from a, a jit, man, turn into a man. Years old. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we, our generation, and like adults alike, like we literally all grew up together watching this guy. Like he became this. a household name, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like on and off the court, he was like a household you, name. You never bro. see nothing like that. Bro. It's like it's crazy. And um, then he brought the game internationally to China. Like when like he went over there, he was like. Hey, the gang need to come on in and yeah. stand it over. And then the same as that, that whole generation of people ended up growing as he continued to become more of a, 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 a grown man in this, in this yeah. game. <laughs> um, I, I, I will say this. I didn't um, – I thought Tracy McGrady uh, should have waited on what he said. You know what I'm saying? What did he say? Oh, um, something about that he used to tell him that he, he wanted, wanted to, to die, die young, young oh, so they can young. see that, he, that he's a, they can take, they can take, say that he's a legend. Yeah, he did yeah. have oh, a wild. Kobe said that. No, yeah, he was. Kobe, Kobe told Tracy McGrady. Yeah, Kobe yeah, supposedly Kobe told Tracy McGrady, "I want to die young. I want to be immortalized. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I want to be great. I want to be known for what I've done." Oh, I think that was the I think that was the wild. craziest response I've heard from everybody. But again, that kind of goes yeah, back to us watching. Kobe grew up and learning in these moments, though, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't tell him what age Kobe that might have been. That right. says some shit like right. that. Right, right, exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. absolutely right. <clears throat> and not just that, I think that um, even in this moment, I don't think that would have been the way he would have. Oh, no. Oh, no. For anybody, you know what I'm bro. Like, yeah. nah, so I that's why. Nah. That's why I say, again, I think he should have waited on that. You know what I mean? Like, even if you do disclose it, wait. You know what I'm saying? Like, not, that, that, to me, it was too soon. When I saw that, that made it hurt even more. My nigga, I, I wanted mean? to see Kobe, Bill Russell, a sitting on the sidelines and yeah, like a game. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Kobe got out of the league, I loved Kobe more than I loved MJ. Right. Yeah. Because I'll be honest to say this. In a lot of regard, like, a lot of regard. I have more respect for Kobe than I do MJ as far as what he did for the league. Like, really, truly yeah. speaking. Yeah. Kobe, I mean, to even see what Sharif O'Neal posted, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, that Kobe reached out to him the morning that, yeah. that he passed yeah. Yeah. just to make sure everything was good. So yeah. you saw that he was involved with younger players. You knew that he was coaching those on his team. Mm -hmm. I was talking to somebody um, even before this happened earlier th uh, last week and I said um, it was kind of on the, the <clears throat> LeBron and Kobe thing as to why yeah. LeBron passed Kobe in the debate oh. for who's better M MJ or, or LeBron Kobe whatever um, I was saying that one knock I have against LeBron is that those who have played with him oftentimes seem crippled after leaving him you know what I mean? To yeah. whatever facet. They're not 
as um, efficient as they were before him or even with him. Mm-hmm. Kobe's players, the, the the vast majority, in my opinion, <coughs> did get better after leaving Kobe. Oh yeah, Paul Gasol. Yeah, Paul was on fire. Um, Paul was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So he he had a, a intelligence about the game. Like Stan mentioned it, how um, crazy it was for him to study great white sharks or whatever. Yeah. To guard AI. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with me and Stan was just talking about that. Yeah. 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 That was a great series, bro. I, that was like that's one of my favorite NBA series. The like the details the show that he sixes, did. Bro. You know what I mean? Like to see how he continually involved involved himself in the game, even after being out. You know what I mean? Like to me, that was one of the most respectable things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, about about Kobe Bryant. I loved everything about him the instant he got out of the league. And that much I can be completely honest to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, when he was in the league, the best thing I could say for him was, he's an amazing fucking player. But don't put him over MJ and don't talk to me about him over any one of my, you know, my favorites. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just because I was a hater. (laughs) Bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do got like eight teams, and he probably was busting all the ass. All eighty of teams. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta do that. <laughs> Balling out all so eighty of teams. I follow, bro. I follow players more so than I do teams. Jacksonville mm-hmm. ain't got a team. I ain't gotta be loyal to you know what I'm saying. Womp, womp, womp. Hey, hey, shit. Jacksonville ain't got a team, and I'm a Sixers fan only. Man, stop it with that shit. Okay, bro. You got a Giants fan, bro? We got a, we got a oh, Giants, who? nigga. Oh. Somebody was on. Somebody was on IG Live. Like you've been crying the camp. last fifteen years about the Sixers. Oh, oh, oh! You gotta tell my business. <laughs> somebody was on IG Live in a damn my Jacksonville Giants game. I'm like, why are you IG Live? Yeah, why are you <laughs> friend? That nigga say, let me stun on these niggas. It was a chick. She oh. was holding her phone. Like, you've been holding your phone for two hours. Bro, we see, yo, we oh, don't got care. hurt, bro. She fucking somebody on the team. Yeah, she had to be. <laughs> Them niggas practice on the east side. I saw Two like, hours, bro. That, uh, that one school work at by Popeyes. Gilbert. They practice right there on the uh, first night. Yeah. They, 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 they still practice performances on this. and shit. Practice. I remember my uncle play a pickup game with them niggas, bro. But Jackson Giants, like, that nigga probably dropped 40 on them. Bro, they like six-time, they like six-time ABA champs, bro. Like, yeah, they, 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 them niggas been balling. They okay. broke, they broke the score record. It was like 200 points. Yeah, like 200 every, points. Every, 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 I was just about to say. Hey, nigga, I dropped 40 on the Jacksonville bro, Giants. Remember that shit? You remember that shit? Like, yeah, it's all oh, damn. Them niggas sorry. <laughs> The, that nigga the, was definitely out there. I'm like, it's, cause it's, it's, a, it's a gym. It's a gym back there. That part we used to go work out. Yeah, that's like, when he was president. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm about to go uh, play this pickup game with the Giants. I'm like, nigga, you trying out? Yeah, like, nah, I just be hooping with yeah, them boys. Hoop, yeah, that's what he said. He's like, hooping, hooping with, with them the niggas. Like, they always come in here. This is what they practice it. I'm like, bro, they be talking, what? They be talking shit. Bro, I watched. I watched my uncle ball out on the niggas. The nigga got by eight. He did get eight, and he's forty seven. He was forty seven at the time. Nigga will definitely ball out on the niggas, bro. That's Man, crazy. shout out to Pizza. That was so random. Let me get a slice of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Them niggas took a long ass time. Oh boy, you breaking from that nigga Joe was on the phone with Pizza by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> only nigga, only Joe. only nigga to call a Pizza Hut. They ain't even know they, they probably had dust on their face. <laughs> 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 oh, I just think calling us, man. Oh, my God. All right, man. We had a classic episode like four five years, years ago. Five years ago. Five, four or five four years five ago. Years. Yeah. Kobe yeah. retired. Kobe shot challenge. I think it's where we got like 70% of our fans mm, mm. from that. Yeah. That's our first ever live stream episode. Yep. Yeah. That, that shit shouldn't have crazy. started drinking. Shit, sorry. I mean, not yet. That's how we did on the original Cobra Challenge uh, video. So we, so we're a little older. When we did the episode, we were twenty five years. old. I was just about to say, like, niggas nigga, is thirty I, now. Think <laughs> about right. tomorrow. So, so, so Kobe's, Kobe's. I don't know. I can't forget how many shots he did, but he had sixty points. He man. dropped sixty. On he that. dropped we, sixty for the fans. We did not. 
I don't know if y'all heard of the video, like when we was, I mean, yeah. uh, the episode, week, but we did not before, expect him to drop that many it. fucking points. The week bro. before, they were talking some, bro, he only gonna drop like 10, bro. Yeah, you know, he, he was been, only dropping he was, like. He just got back, but he, he been hurt. His highest you know was 10 around that time. Shit. Yeah. His, his yeah. highest was about we 10, ain't finna bro. Push it. That nigga Kobe Ooh. heard that shit. He heard it in the soul. Like, Kobe oh. definitely heard it. He okay. heard about that okay. shit. Okay. Right I, I got him, nigga. Yeah, we about to get these country ass. And they kept looking at the camera. Gigi was on YouTube. She cleaned. Hey, daddy, they talking about yeah. you. Like, that nigga kept getting the damn ball, bro. Like, come on, Kobe, stop. Man. Chill, bro. Don't even take. Why are you taking mm-hmm. that shot? Kobe, you on the bench. Toy all Kobe. <laughs> Bro, yeah. Ant, Ant was pleading for help, bro, on that live stream, bro. He was trying to yeah. plead. I, I wish, did you keep a count of how many shots we took that night? Nah, that's all I'm saying. That's so what I want to know. He was shooting so quick. 22 so or 50 that night. 22 or 50, so you made 22 shots. I don't remember the third quarter. So we took 20, 22 shots to look at. Do you remember the ending of the game? Like, did we watch the game full way through? I I didn't even see that speech at the end of my mouth. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, I passed out. I think you left. And I nigga, I just passed out on the sofa. And I was like, man, Don't I tell my left, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the night because I was so drunk. Uh, <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> I, I, you, you I left, slept on the couch. You, you, you left, left and you seemed okay. When you left, yeah, you, when I, like when you, I, were fully, you were fully yeah, capable of driving. When I got off Devin's couch, <laughs> I saw the mom out speech. I checked on him to make sure he was straight. He drove. <laughs> Spend the night. Okay. Okay. This nigga, I this ass nigga man. <laughs> anyway, man, we, apparently we took 22 shots. Niggas can't Damn, do that no more. Damn, twenty two shots. So we gonna play. We gonna pay some homage to Kobe Bryant, man. We're gonna do. If my math is correct. <laughs> four people in the podcast. Five four, in the room. Five 20, in the studio. Five, five in the studio. In, yeah, it's five now. It's gonna make it more. You can't really divide that correctly. Five. Nah, you can't. It's like five points. So we, if. All right, Russell on the. Your I, math is okay. Never been. Hey, correct. Russell's on the outside, so Russell got to take eight shots. No. Yeah, we're oh, yeah. shots with Kobe, boy. You got on purple. You got on purple. We're going to handle the 24. You're going to handle the 8. Mm. Oh, matter of fact, I got a great got story real quick. Yeah. This nigga Russell drank. I had a like these big-ass cups. They was like pitchers damn right, near. Right, yeah, we're gonna have to nah, we was chilling with these chicks one off playing <laughs> this drinking nah. game. That nigga say, hey, bro. Don't even worry. I'm going to take all the drinks. Oh. I had did it one time before that, and that shit almost killed me. We was drinking tequila. I took 11 shots. I was almost dead, nigga. Uh, so he drank it. At the time, he didn't drink at all. <laughs> oh, it's, oh. You remember this Russell, right? This is, yes, this is done drinking Russell Bruh. for some reason. So this nigga said, I, don't even worry. <coughs> we play the game. We j- taking shots for like two hours. This nigga poured... This much liquor Okay that's In another cup That was bigger That's ignorant You were very young He drank it all right <laughs> The next day bro He slept for 24 hours <clears throat> What I what kept trying to wake you? him up bro oh, I made the nigga <clears throat> Peanut butter jelly sandwich I made the nigga like Chicken tenders I'm like bro If you don't eat You might die The nigga right? slapped <laughs> that shit At your head Fuck it nigga You gonna die I don't need that nigga I'm gonna live forever nigga You're like what <laughs> so, hey, I think he, I think he well prepared to take eight shots at this point. My, you know I mean? my favorite drunk Russell Stutt. Nah. <laughs> if, my, if my math is correct, twenty four divided by four is six. Yes, six that nigga eight. sent us in a text. Yeah, I start to bring some FCAT practice. Nah, uh, nah bro, you should have. Was bro. my answer not right though? Nah, it was, it, a typo. Was it? it was a typo, but it had me dying. The nigga t- yeah. sent us a message. He said, "We all taking eight <laughs> shots for uh, Kobe." <laughs> I say, nigga, that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he did say- So I was like, is there any way we could cut it down? He say, Mount coming. So yeah. we going to do 24 divided by 6 equals 6. And I was like, bro, I read this shit. I'm like, this is so dumbass. So this ain't the right motherfucking answer. Bro. <laughs> I he was excited shit. to prove me wrong. I was. I really was. Joe, why are you <laughs> laughing? I was very laughing. Like, nah, I'm going to get this nigga. That nigga this said shit, that shit bro. like in one second. He was. I told yeah. Devin that. You ain't have to respond. Like, Clearly he fucked up, nah, but it is man. funny. So oh, I mean, nah. I was like, oh, nah, nigga, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna let that shit ride, nigga. This nigga has another big one. 
He probably gonna screen cap that shit. He was like, okay, it's a typo. Like, nah, nigga, shut the fuck up, nigga. That shit wrong. <laughs> so next. Hey, you probably won the one. Next time, I'm gonna, um, next time, next up, next episode where we drinking, drinking. I'm gonna bring the FCAT practice test. No Come bullshit. On, man. <laughs> Drunk FCAT practice test, bro. We got. What we fuck around and pass that bit? <laughs> <laughs> we some brilliant niggas. Plot twist. <laughs> we pass that bit. <laughs> got outstanding scores. <laughs> That would suck because we wouldn't be able to get no bag off it because you can't get kids licking. Right, bro. You, know, you couldn't tell the niggas to fail it and wait till they get grown. Hey, y'all take a little time. Wait wait till you are age and then test it again. Fuck that nigga. I'm going to send that shit in. We're going to get recruited to Harvard. Like, we 30, but it ain't too late ever. That could be a movie, bro. Mamba mentality, right? Mm-hmm. Bet the man them did it. It was like in their 30s. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> so Kobe was number 24 It was number 8 also But he was number 24 I mean we gotta do it big 24. We do it You know what I mean 24 divided by 4 Is 6 Nah bro just do 24 plus 8 <clears throat> 6 That's a lot of shots What's that 6 shots Mm-hmm. You only got 2 shot glasses Oh yeah. we didn't even take these yet Fuck mm-hmm. I only got 2 <laughs> You could, you could do the math. Mm-hmm. You should know. Somebody do the math. Oh. You got a big ass witch witch cup. <laughs> yeah, that is. I don't know how you want to do the math. Nigga, you see that shadow? That. that shadow at the top. They ain't even got witch witch no, no more in Jacksonville. No, it's going to be okay. I was <laughs> literally <laughs> about to tell tell y'all, like, I'm going to just measure up, six dude. shots in here and pour it in one, but oh, you no, might have no, a hard no. time. He bought oh, that cup. He bought that shit. cup with him. That wasn't in here. I went in this house. <laughs> no, no. Why are you walk around with that cup? Why are you in this house? You gotta think about it. Like, did I walk in with that cup? That nigga might walk in and like this. What's happening? 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 Look at him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one of them bitches. Shit. <laughs> I know that one don't got that witch witch. What the fuck? That nigga said, Baselli burger. Baselli burger. That nigga even just had a bison burger. That nigga even trying to lie, bro. Just like Burger King. Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I think about that shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> Definitely was not burger. All right, y'all ready? Yeah, let's pass me the crown. I ain't really, I got I got a pull. Man, Go rest in peace, Kobe. Man, rest in peace, Kobe. Man, man. that's crazy to say. I, I can't even. Yeah, say I can't. I, it, I don't. It don't feel right, so bro. I, I second what y'all what y'all two just said. You yeah. see what I did? I say I second what y'all two. Yeah. But I can't say it myself, mm. man. I can't believe it. it. This was shocking. Like with what's the most recent one? Like super shocking. Um, Nip- that's like six. Nipsey, Nip- Nip- like Nipsey Nip- hustle Nip- shit. Yeah, Nip- Nip- that is this, not six. <laughs> that's not six. Jim. That's about three. <laughs> three. That is three. No, because like you got to measure by these shot glasses. Yeah. You got ice and this whole thing. Man, you got ice number. You cheating, bro? Joe, that's, bro, that's, bro. Joe, that's only one shot, bro. I can my, see the, sh- you my see the shit. outline of it. No, look how big, big the cup is. Yeah, bro. I was gonna say that's, th- that's three big. shots. That's three. So that's shots. at least three. Okay, so that's three. You gotta pull up some more. I got this much liquor. You let go. Oh, you let Kobe down. This is not the yeah, mama. This some. This some pussy. Man, you pull my. This is not the mama mentality. <laughs> oh, Ben Simmons okay. mentality. That's it. Ben that's- Simmons mentality is cool. Yeah. Being that's coochie. crazy. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> Don't spread that, guys, because that's not that's that's not good right there. It's not. Bro, it's I need you to do the math. These niggas already. <coughs> oh no, that's that's six, bro. That's six. Yeah. Nigga, that's eight. That's that ain't no fucking. That's, that's not eight. That, that's six. Joe, so you got that's it, bro. Yeah. Compared to them shots. Yeah. That's yeah. my six. This is your idea, though. This you six or this eight. Um, I feel like I'm doing Kobe rookie year over 6.5, here. Six point five. My eyes gone here. Let him pour all that liquor in there. Yeah, that's, that's just it. He, he has ice he in his cup also, also, so it's kind of that's why I'm saying he's diluting yeah. it down. He Yo, that don't count, bro. You cheating? Yeah, bro. Hey, when we did, hey, did that, hey, nigga, when we did that Kobe shot challenge, we hey, had no goddamn ice. with the shots, and he got Dude. on a cashmere sweater right now <laughs> with his sleeves rolled up. 
It's a lot of it's a lot of coochie vibes coming from the side. Joe, oh God, that first COVID shot challenge episode, we didn't use no ice. All right, all right, all right. We did not. We did straight shots, and we ate ice. God damn it! And we ate chicken. That was yeah. That was a lot of bad decisions that night. You guys are niggers. Yeah. Oh, knackers. I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. I say knackers. You guys, I mixed the Knicks and the Lakers. I really did not mean to say that. That was a G in there. I would never use a racial term. Several G's in that shit, bro. Yeah, she 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 said that shit hard as fuck. She was like the L.A. niggers. I mean the L.A. Lakers. I mean the niggers. I mean the I mean the I mean the Lakers. <laughs> niggers, Lakers. That that don't. When I seen niggers. Even if she's oh, okay. My mom nah, was I mean, like, "Did you see the lady that called Kobe a nigga?" I was like, oh, "Ain't nobody called Kobe a nigga." <laughs> and I'm willing to believe this didn't happen, mother. I'm sure it's not the first time. So I said about a thousand. Uh, so she pulled up a YouTube video, and yeah, when the lady paused. The L.A. niggers, yeah. I was like, oh. yep. uh, it made me think of Anchorman, though, that somebody yeah, put that yeah, shit on the prom. Yeah, that's she what I kind of thought, Whatever too. she see on the... <laughs> like, that's seriously. so stupid. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be done after this shit. Too bad. All right. Shouldn't have smoked that coma pack. Coma. Yeah, yeah. Man, fuck that. The coma pack going to level me out. I need more of the coma pack. Hell, I'm about to tell this nigga I'll pay him a hundred. To bring me a quarter right now. Don't do that. That's some feeding shit. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Put, nah, them, nah, put nah. your phone away, bro. Nah. That's some pookie shit. <laughs> you ready to cheer right, up for COVID? Man. Hold on. All right, we good. All right. Kobe. 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 That's one, and that hurt very Kobe. bad. Kobe. Oh, Doing Kobe, every shot, bro. Kobe, <laughs> this nigga is dying. I got, I got five more shots. So you all right? I didn't even see. Did you finish it? <clears throat> Damn near, I took five of them. So y'all gotta catch up. Um, mm. I've been drinking since I got here, so I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm caught up. About I'm more. Than, I'm past <laughs> caught up. You know how you uh? Like, no, come on, man. Take in air. You saw me drinking. I almost did that I don't know shit. How much you that would have killed man. me That's, with all that liquor. So we just agreed that we're gonna take six shots, and he told us when you was drinking earlier. Nobody told you to drink earlier, bro. This happened the if, same thing. This is deja saying, vu. Now, this is not how the first one started. Saying, I think I took some shot, five shots. Come on, bro. Get the drink. No, Joe, Joe, no, 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 no. That's how he hold got on. me on the first quarter shot up. challenge. Damn, don't do it. Did you just measure my cup? Yeah, we we me and Russell just did it. Yeah. Joe's drinking earlier too. Take your shots. Get your shots, man. You being a, you being a hoe, bro. You You're being it. coochie. You being that's not the mama mentality. You being a hoe right now. I wasn't a Kobe fan. Let me finish this. <laughs> I'm a slice morning of fan. <laughs> I got four more shots. Oh wait, you got the shot glass. Let me get that. I'm just pouring a regular cup. I got to do it. Yeah, it is mighty late to be drinking this uh, this much. What time is it? Oh, it's 11 o'clock. o'clock at night. Yeah, nigga, you just <laughs> said we was in our 30s. Did he not say that? Hey, man. The morning comes pretty quick. Cool. You know, spring chicken, bro. I got three more. Yeah, you got on a do-rag. You don't give a fuck. That's cool. <laughs> That's straight. That's cool. I almost came on here with my... Um, I'm going to come next week. I'm going to have... Um, you remember the Jada Kiss Knock Yourself Out video? Mm. We had a paper towel bandana? Mm-hmm. I'm going to wear that next week. <laughs> I, I remember my, me finding out. I'm a four. I remember where I was finding out that that was a bandana, bro. It was actually a, a bounty paper towel. Yeah, I was at a Sonic restaurant when I found out that shit was a goddamn. <laughs> you was a, in the Sonic. <laughs> like, damn, I was like, to show y'all. Fuck. Ain't nothing left in mine but a little sip. I got one more. So they got to catch up. Ooh, God damn. I'm going to let them niggas yeah, go, bro. go in there. I did the I first COVID shot challenge. I'm good. You're a hoe. You're a hoe. You That's was just fine. calling Joe. That's fine. I'm horrible. You want you want to get in? No. no, no. Look, at, look at that nigga. He know that. Hey, smart man. That nigga's a smart I am. Man. Okay. I did the first Kobe shot challenge. 
It's some dis- it's some listeners listening right now that's very disappointed. They, they, the whole they wouldn't expect that from you. Is, is, is this a uh, Patreon episode or is this a regular? Episode? But would they not expect that from me? It's gonna get like, real problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, you, want this but you ain't gonna get no extra points yeah. Put it on the move Yeah, that's you right now That's fine That's fine he's Devin fine, the man. hoe nigga <laughs> I ain't drunk enough I'm so Hey, good. listen to this Tweet Devin that he's a hoe I'm not a drinker He's, he's giving up on the Kobe Tweet that every day Anyway more. when it's not a challenge He, he just he just fine with being a hoe El don't, El don't like the, El don't gotta go to work tomorrow He's just, he's just in here chilling I'm not fine see. with that Alright, man So I got one more shot I'm going to do my last shot with you, bro. All right. Oh, you want his glass since he ain't using it? Yeah, you can take my glass. Now, I just want to go to show y'all how much liquor I took. I've done taking my I can't reach You're going to fall asleep as soon as he leave out the door right there. You ain't lying. As soon you as he leave out the door, you nigga on. <coughs> I done took my eight shots. About, I don't know how many. Did you take any shots yet, Mel? Yeah, he been over that shit, man. <laughs> this is my. F- <laughs> All right, so that y'all is more than a shot, nigga. You know how much a shot is? <laughs> my fourth one. That's why I said I had more than six shots sitting. in my cup. Oh. <laughs> that nigga said, "Oh, yeah." I don't believe you. I'm just gonna say, "Oh," just to move the conversation along. Oh, Bro, man. did you see how much this guy <laughs> just took? Okay, man. See. Pour some of that out. That's not that's more. Yeah, don't stop being a hoe and drink. I know you're not talking. I am talking. I gotta close I'm, I'm out. Sit on the sideline. You want to drink? That's more than a shot, but you gonna drink that? I'm going out strong. All right, Russell. Kobe. Russell sleep. I don't know how Kobe, many shots man. that nigga had. You, you won't. All right, that's for Kobe. I ain't drinking no that's more. Kobe, God man. damn it. Shout out to Kobe, man. Good for y'all. Rest man. in peace, Kobe and Gigi, man. That's yeah, peace, Kobe and Gigi, man. And, uh, and to everybody else. And you know everybody else. Everybody else and yeah, to everybody definitely. that lost their life. You know what I mean? Like, definitely don't wish that upon anybody. It was a sad circumstance. Um, my, my, my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody, family. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough for anybody, you know. Yeah. Uh, going through this situation, so freak accident shit he did all the time. Right, yeah, yeah bro. I didn't even that. notice how much he flew helicopters. So I went back. Shit, the nigga flew the games so, in yeah. a helicopter. Yeah, when they, and then one commercial, it was the one in, uh, new commercial recently where he was in a helicopter. It flying, was Ghostbusters right. commercial. Yeah, the Ghostbusters commercial. I was like, damn. From what I hit me till now, bro. From what I um, from what I read, he asked for special clearance to to fly that day. Hmm. Cause of that fall shit, yeah. But wow. regardless, even if he asked the FAA and everybody still got to check the level of conditions and yeah, they right. give the the green light. Oh, that's light, gonna be a great decision. Light. They were grateful for a long time. So for yeah. them to still approve the and but then yeah. LA, apparently the pilot did something he like wasn't supposed to. Like he tried to cl- dr- ride under the fog and he like misguided uh, it. Well, they yeah, cause they were telling him to go above. But yeah, they told him to go above, tried. but he tried to go under it. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we we seen a picture, man. No, 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 man. Look who posted this shit. Oh, who you know that? what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nigga about to get some sponsorships and shit. You who know is what that? I, mean? I don't know. I, uh, the, nigga, the, I the, just the, the to the listeners to it. the listeners that watch this. I dress like Kevin Owens. The rest, of them. <laughs> I do. don't know. I don't have any drip, so I don't know who that is. <laughs> who is that? Black Label Co. That's yeah, who made yeah, the beanie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's who made fire. the beanie. That's pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, my nigga Stan put me onto the beanie. My damn stylist, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga said, you know, hey, I got a little bread. Let me hire one. You know what I mean? Nigga do not like shopping. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you spent like a thousand dollars at Joe Fresh Goods that one time. Yeah, bro. I was wilding, actually. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I thought I was wilding when I got them my $150 sweatpants. That yeah, nigga did say that shit too. Like, nigga, these are $100, $50. That I sweatpants. almost left at the damn cushion. What was yeah. crazy was um, <laughs> we, we spent all that money in the store the first time we went. To, to Joe Fresh Goods Then when y'all came Nah I had spent a lot At Joe Fresh Goods When we went to Complex Con Yeah yeah I, You spent a You spent a good bit nigga, At Complex I, Con Nigga I had a little In my bank saying I spent like $600 At Complex Con Bro <laughs> oh, I think shit. I spent I don't even want to Disclose how much I spent in the month Of December Yeah it was ridiculous It was It was absurd Joe Fresh Hey nigga, you you owe me on my taxes. <laughs> 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 we paid that nigga on that, bro. We paid that nigga rent in the summer. Hey nigga, no shout out to Joe man, the big bro. So what was crazy was like, we was in the store. Uh, 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 we was in
When we was that, uh, uh, of course, I cop something in uh, Complex Con and shit. You know what I'm saying? A couple yeah. things. But um, when we was down in Miami. We went once. We met Stan up there. I grabbed a few shirts and the hat. We went back, grabbed a few more shirts. We headed to the podcast, the live show. I'm like, Stan, hey, bro, I see you still at the store. Go ahead and grab a nigga that... <laughs> <laughs> that last couple, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I couldn't stop. Nigga, damn, you go, you brought that nigga whole winter line up. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Fresh, man, holla at me. You know what I'm saying? He not. He's like, nigga, you bought it, nigga. You're <laughs> a hater. Goodness, Goodness like, gracious. You bought it. That nigga should have been like, yeah, bro, holla at this nigga. Hey, you know if what you, mean? But nah, I, nah, he's not. That, that's why. That's why I like Joe Fresh good shit so much. Because you, if you think about it. You think about the prices of all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And you went, I wouldn't buy that from nobody else but that nigga. Cause right. that Marlins hat, bruh, that's just ninety dollars. <laughs> I went, that's ignorant to think bruh. about a fitted cap being ninety dollars. But when I heard that price, I was like, shit, I still want that shit. Mm. Now show him, show him the fitted man, cause uh, I ain't got mine with me. You know what I mean? I like I, I got my shit like a holy grail. You know what I'm saying? That was a must. Uh, Niggas had to have fitted, that. Bro. Yeah. Like, Once I seen that shit, I'm like, I had to have it. Bro. I, I I'm actually the price thinking was. about buying a couple more just for the size difference. Like yeah. I'm, I'm growing my hair out again. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, low cut, mid cut. Yeah, you gonna cut it off again soon? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, I'm, <laughs> so it's like, I'm, I'm about to go to E40. E40. Ooh. I ain't got none, but I'm planning on growing <laughs> some. Oh, <God. laughs> That nigga was growing him. I ain't mad at Green you, man, dude. nigga. I ain't pressed it. Devin hit that. So. I ain't definitely had. I ain't mad at you for that one. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got none, but I'm planning on growing some. God damn it. That was a fire Green song. Green ass nigga. It was, was a fire, fire ass song. line, nigga. Like, that nigga was. He said, you got finished. You said, Jesus Christ had dread, so shake him. Bruh, come on, man. I don't know if that's factual, but. <laughs> In the we flea market pictures, they is. Every time you see a flea market picture, they just got dreads. Like, nigga, I have seen only Jesus with dreads, dreads before. I can't say that. That nigga was definitely black. Jesus with dreads. He's definitely popping in the hood. No bullshit. It was clearly Bob Marley. My mom on, used to make that like a thing. Like every Saturday, we went to the flea market. <laughs> Uh, yeah, up. yeah, me too. Yeah, didn't even. My dad still that do that shit, bro. I'm like, that's why I got, glad I got a kid now. <laughs> How you window shop at the flea market? He's exercise. I mean, yeah, yeah, without a doubt. But what I'm saying is, like, <laughs> black people make that shit too, like, socially common. You I know think, what I mean? I think like, we was talking about that shit over here. We, we, the we, flea market, we, like, was like the mall. We nah, said, nah, we nah, said nah. like, we was talking about. It, we was like, like the uh, the cars used to drive through that bitch, bro. Yeah. The pecan, you went to the pecan part one? Oh, yeah. The I cars. got my hand twisted at pecan part. For right. real? When I was in middle school, yeah. I ain't doing that By nigga. African. Nah, I'm about to say that was some crackers. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's some, no, no niggas, there wasn't no niggas in pecan part at a booth. <laughs> nah. I, I, I went to an African. I didn't, see, <laughs> I didn't see niggas with flea market booths until golf fair came or all. Yeah, oh, I'm not saying that. I've, I've never seen a black person with a booth in Pecan bro, Park. It's probably hell, bro. I don't know, Joe. Yeah, I don't I, know. African lady in Norwood. Did both of our hair. It might have been Norwood, not the bad bitch, but it was an African <laughs> lady. I don't know where you got a bad bitch. The African lady. lady. It was a slow. That was a nigga. <laughs> that, was a, that, was a, that was a man. It was a bad bitch tatted on his back. It was a, sl- it was a slow day. How did you even that see nigga that? That it was a slow day. <laughs> like, it, that means it was other barbers available. Nah, it wasn't, was, bro. Other just barbers, don't, barbers don't braid up, yeah, bro. Hey, nigga, nigga said, you want to see my new tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, he don't want no. He don't want no shirts. Remember when bro? Hey. Remember when dude for class? Hey? That nigga brushed the chair when Devin came and sat hey. down. Like here, let me let me dust this off for remember, you. Remember, remember dude from class? Hey, okay, get beat up. Uh, yeah. He had on a the shirt nigga, like I'm, that. I'm about to actually bring up something very With problematic. His cut off? What? All right, you know Mr. Stan, right? It was Christmas Stan. Yes. This about to be problematic. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> you don't. You probably don't remember this. I don't know how long you was going there, but you remember. You you remember when they was in the shopping center across the street from Kmart? Did you yes. start going there? Then? Yeah. By the gold, the place they used to do golds. Yeah. The shopping center by Kmart. So they used to cut hair in there. Okay. 
they didn't own the shop. Like somebody else owned it, and like they was just like barbers in that motherfucker. Like a white guy owned it. What? So, <laughs> the bar- so anybody could come in the other rooms anytime they wanted to. Yeah. So a, a gay nigga. Okay. A gay nigga start was in there braiding hair. Oh. And nigga, Mister Chris is there and said. Yeah, we getting out of here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we getting out of here. <laughs> so, like, we come here. A bunch of gay niggas used to come in there and but get they, their hair braided. But they had that dyke though, so that's confusing. <laughs> nigga, it was a gay nigga. That's a dyke. Yeah, I mean, they feel like they probably think they can relate more to the dyke, but yeah, I mean, she them, was cool, bro. I don't know if that's problematic. She had, she had, that, she had kids though. I don't know, but yeah, she it was wild. But them, that she gay nigga, kids. once the nigga gay nigga was braiding hair, and all them gay niggas started coming. Yeah, like, yeah, we getting out of here. Yeah, that's they wild. moved the next week, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, fuck that. I remember that time you was like, you was like your brother about to fight Mr. Court. Mr. <laughs> Stan. Yeah, and that was my barber. Yeah. Matter of fact, speaking of speaking of brothers, <laughs> let me tell y'all about this nigga Devin brother. This nigga was like sixteen years old. <laughs> Devin made a post on Facebook that I commented on, and his brother just randomly started talking shit to me. I'm like, yo, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Here's where I stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going in. For like 20 minutes, me and his brother going back and forth. <coughs> this nigga Devin randomly texts me and say, you know that's my brother, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm finna fade this nigga. Like, he finna catch these hands. Only Joe would fight a little yeah, ass kid. You, that definitely, bro. I, that, I didn't even know about the two-year-old shit at the time. Like I mean, anger I issues. Know. <laughs> he really do. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot up your house, nigga. Bro, wow. I don't scare Your none. brother taking, talking shit. No bullshit. You talking, about my, you talking about nigga in the seventh grade, nigga? Yeah, that nigga <laughs> was him. a kid, bro. He was like, what did he get? Nah, everything he was started not. to make sense now. He was not a child. Everything started to make time. Everything started to make sense. I right? seen that nigga recently. I tried <laughs> to remind him of that shit. Like, you know your brother spared you, right? Like, come on, bro. It's like, how many years later? You're a grown ass man. You probably forgot about that shit. What are you talking about, nigga? (laughs) You probably forgot about that shit, bro. This nigga's insane. Who remembers that? (laughs) That nigga be liking your music when I be sharing it on Facebook and shit. I'm like, Like, bro, you know I was in the (laughs) sixth grade, right? Yeah, like, he like, man, your boy, he like, man, your nigga Joe, he be snapping, bro. What the fuck is fighting this man? I was hollering at him about some shirts and shit. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna collab, yada, yada. That nigga say, um, yeah, that's what's up, man. Just let me know. And in my head, I was like, yeah, I'm going to let you know about this ass. <laughs> oh, that's what you can think about. We live our business. That's all you can think about. Hey, you gotta t- hey, hey bro, tell your brother to come through for some business. Your brother going to come through, and they're going to be looking at him like, I can't hold it in anymore. I can't hold it in. <laughs> they should be fighting in the living <laughs> I can't hold it in. (laughs) Your brother brother gonna call you like, nigga, what was that all about, bro? Oh, what happened? He mad about something that happened in 2007. I'm like, Joe, tell me you did not fight my brother. (laughs) Why? (laughs) So that was 13 years ago. I couldn't help myself. Like, Joe, he's a grown man now, like, with gold. What are you doing? Hey, bro. Hey, hey. You know, I, I just got to put my foot down, man. No, Joe, he'll be like, hey, man, see if he still want to make the shirts, dude. Like, see if he still want to collaborate. Like, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, <laughs> fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Y'all ain't heard of a friendly face? What's up? Hey, bro. I mean, so ignorant, bro. I had a nigga ask me for a friendly fade recently. <coughs> out of fact. I'm like, what? nigga, you know where I stay? Pull up. <laughs> Bruh, I was talking cash shit that day too. We had a heated debate. It was it was some bug. You know this, you know stuff don't like this don't happen at 21, right? Yeah, bro. I mean, nigga 29 having friendly fades. Yeah, that is it. Oh, it shocked me. <laughs> Yo, that stop. nigga say, that nigga say, man, if you want Hey bro, give me five minutes. <laughs> If you we want, can, we can shake it up. We can party. meet at such and such house and box it out. <coughs> what? I say, nah, nigga, I ain't meeting nowhere. You know where I live. Come nigga, on, I'll shoot Y'all you, see, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> this is the age where you shoot niggas, Joe. I don't fight you. You gotta shoot, shoot niggas shoot now. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely willing to shoot a nigga, but if a nigga want to throw hands one on one, 
<laughs> That's easy money. Like, come on. I'm with it. Yeah. You just gonna fight every nigga that wanna throw hands off real, real? One on one, yeah. Okay. But see, niggas don't fail one on one no more. You didn't so tell us why this happened. Yeah, you oh, yeah. That. I don't even say how this started. It really, Joe. Honestly, it was all over. Some why does this be the stupidest shit? shit <laughs> yeah, it is. With well, Joe, it's gonna be the he was, shit blown he completely didn't like out jelly of the peanut yeah. butter and jelly. This nigga farted while I was talking. <laughs> this nigga told me my... thank you. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you tell me fucking thank you, bitch? <laughs> nigga opened the door for my grandma. Like, nigga, fuck this nigga. Ah! I seen that nigga hug my grandma across the street. Only thing I ask is that you respect me, and I'm a, I'm gonna do the same. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I give enough respect to a when a nigga disrespect. Oh yeah, you need your ass whooped. This, this nigga Joe fought for the goddamn science spinner. Just, oh my God. <laughs> know how angry you gotta be to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Joe was driving by his switch shield. <laughs> hey, what the fuck, nigga? You almost killed me with that goddamn sign. Hey, nigga, what, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> nigga, you distracting as yeah, fuck. Yeah. Nigga, like, you ain't do it right. You do it this way. <laughs> I seen a nigga do a backflip spinning a <laughs> no, sign one time. <laughs> that oh nigga God. spin that bitch in the air, hit a backflip, and caught it. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> I can do that too, nigga. Watch out. For little Caesars. I already went up to him like, bro, do you realize you only get paid $8 an hour? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, it's hot as fuck out here, man. I don't even know why no you flipping. No more. <laughs> hey. That nigga was in a shake suit. I sat through three lights. That nigga lights. dressed up like some fries. That bitch turned green. <laughs> was flipping the fries. I was sitting. <laughs> sitting. I'm like, this nigga is entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> He went over there and tipped this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> this nigga got a hat. He was throwing a money in that hat. Oh my God, bro. Bro, yeah. no bullshit. That nigga flipped that bitch. <laughs> and in the middle of the shit, that nigga hit a bad That nigga flip. ran on the wall oh. like Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the light. I said, oh my God. <laughs> That nigga really want this shit, bro. Like, he want to do this shit. He want that bitch in park. Like, what else do you got? <laughs> like, hey, nigga, get out of here. Get, this is my job. Get out of here, nigga. Let's do this shit for fun. Oh, my God. My stomach hurt, bro. Oh, my God. What else you got, bro? I started to say, damn, nigga, I hire entertainment. Like, come to a birthday party and do that shit. Uh, you owe some niggas some no, money, bro. You can't do it like that. Got any more tricks? <laughs> hey, man, get out of here, bro. I'm at work. Get oh, your ass out of here, bro. <laughs> you guys say, you guys say, nigga, how much you get paid? You're like, nigga, I get paid 25 an hour. Yeah. Like, you deserve that, bro. Yeah, motherfucker. 25 an hour? For that? <laughs> bro. Okay, yes. I understand what you're doing. You, you should have, you should get that every day. That nigga was working for the boss. Man, that nigga probably threw that bitch across the street oh one day and hit backflips all the way. <laughs> that nigga definitely practiced that, that nigga shit. Did he that just shit. don't do that. He shit. did the Mr. Perfect. He threw that bitch 80 <laughs> yards. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga down by CC's Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, you, you don't just do that yeah. shit. You practice that. You definitely practice that. Oh, for man. that moment. That is bro. hilarious. Bro. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. God. But yeah, I seen some niggas. They be out there doing spins. I was like, mm -hmm. bro, it's 90 degrees. Yeah. And you bro, get paid eight. They worse than they worse than the Muslims that be uh <laughs> they be on Lim Turner selling bean pies. The oh, niggas yo, in them suits, yo. they be selling they newspapers. Don't that. Yeah, I don't yeah. even buy their newspapers no more because it be old as fuck. I had to quit wearing bow ties. I uh, when I was up in North Carolina, I was you know. You do look Muslim. You do. Chill. You could be. Come on, man. I chill. believe it. You Especially when I was growing the beard, though. <laughs> like I wore the bow tie and no bullshit. This chick, yeah. I work. You should have walked around eating a pork chop sandwich. Yeah, you should have with a white woman. <laughs> that would have been hell of a woman you could find. I was at. Nigga I was a manager at Macy's. Nigga had an ignorant <laughs> pork chop. That shit got tomatoes and lettuce on it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mayo. <laughs> Mayo with that shit? Bro, so look. Yeah, that ain't bothering him. That nigga definitely don't got no bean pies. I walked into work one day. I had on a velour blazer and a bow tie. <laughs> this chick seen me and I turned the other Lincoln, way. I walked behind her and she was like, I just tried to hide the pork. I'm sorry. Whoa, I'm sorry, Joseph. 
was like, what? What are you it's talking racist. about? It's racist. It's racist as fuck, bro. I was like, what the fuck? You had to say that. No, she was black. Still racist. Still, she had to say that shit. Like what are you talking? I, got, about? I had to hide the point. Please don't beat me. Yeah. Please don't beat me, Malik Rashad. <laughs> don't don't do me I like do? y'all. Don't do me like y'all did, Mal. Like whoa, Dude, oh, whoa. God. Get whoa. your hand out my pocket. Whoa. I thought you talking about that, Mal. You nah. talking about Malcolm? <laughs> like, Malcolm, what you doing out here, man? <laughs> You beat Muslims? No, I'm talking about them Eastside Muslims. Oh, my. <laughs> they a little bit different. The Muslims be on about the Eastside, not the one that y'all think about. Eastside Muslims. You probably talking about like Brother Muhammad or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's, that's some Israel, Israelites. Yeah, them niggas that be having the gold chains on their sleeves. Yeah, they be having. They mold. do not be gold. They be having, <laughs> they be having bowling alley parties. They be bowling alley parties. <laughs> yeah, you ever been to a Muslim bowling alley party? No, be lit, bro. It's just five. What? Yeah, this should be five, bro. That makes no sense. <laughs> I don't. I didn't make the title, Joe. He just made this. I did not make that up, bro. It is, bro. This should be fun. A I'm so Muslim serious. bowling party. Y'all need to get out more. I'm so serious. I went to. a how did you uh, find a Muslim bowling? I was, I was at a bowling now then. I saw some Muslims. Muslims. And I like, fuck it. He seen three Muslims in there like, yeah, this a Muslim bowling. Muslims can't have a light too. <laughs> Muslims can't enjoy shit besides Allah, nigga. That shit just, that shit called, <laughs> like, what the fuck? shit called the Jacksonville bowling alley. What, what do Muslims do for fun? It's a, it's a Muslim bowling What do Muslims do for fun? What do Muslims do for fun? They go bowl. I, I, I don't make the rules. The man be having fun. fun. No they be having fun. That is not proven. Okay. That's how Devin Call me next works. Saturday. <laughs> Call me next Saturday. I he's like six months. He going Foot Locker. Oh, this must, Islam. He, he going to sit Foot Locker and see two dykes. Oh, this must be the dyke Foot Locker. <laughs> this must be where all the dykes in Jacksonville shop, obviously. Okay, what if that <laughs> do be the Foot Locker that all the dykes shop at? Then what? <laughs> then you'll feel crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you would know where all the dice <laughs> shop at. <laughs> you of all people. Nah, I wouldn't. And you look like a nigga. Let I me holla at you. I wouldn't. You look like a I nigga. Let know. me out. I, I wouldn't know, Normandy. <laughs> 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 that nigga be parking lot pimping. Bro, where you at, bro? Normandy, Foot Locker? <laughs> What you doing? Pick it up, hoes. Just talking. You sure? Ain't no hoes out you there. You sure? That nigga be like, yeah, it is. Bro, where you at, bro? Dick sporting you. It's all, in, all the old. I'm in the hunting section. You're like, nigga, why? By, by the why? real tree. <laughs> <laughs> all the dice we buying the, the, the real tree out of Dick Sport Goods. <laughs> oh my God. They go in there. They go to the left, they get all the sporting bros, the sports bros. <laughs> hey, my only question though is this. And goggles. <clears throat> Why is it so like, I start to say hit or miss, but it's really not. It's like one out of 10 dykes can dress. It's like, damn, nigga, you spend your whole life wanting to be a nigga and you can't take no fashion <laughs> tips. <laughs> like, yeah, true. I mean, God damn. It is not 2007. Get rid of the baggy <coughs> ass jeans. Are those Route 66 boots? Like, oh, come on, man. Oh, bro. Jeans look like goddamn canvases. I think I, I see like I think I see like maybe five dice that, that could dress. That's about it. It's not a high number. Yeah. For a while, they was wearing dicky suits too. And they they don't even check. call themselves mm-hmm. dykes. They niggas. <coughs> Oh, they niggas. oh, yeah, that's oh. true. Oh, that's okay. That's wild, <laughs> bro. They niggas. That's wild. That's a wild thing to say. No bullshit. I know. I know somebody. She can dress her motherfucking ass off, right? What young ma? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is, I thought it was young and May. It's tank young tops, ma. Young and May. What the fuck oh, is it? No. I've only seen her wear <laughs> tank tops, <laughs> which is, I mean, a nigga outfit, I guess. Mm. But nah, Charlie can dress. Uh, one day she was talking about like how she get down. Being and shit. a dyke, being yeah, a dyke. She was like, yeah, she was like, I gotta dyke. go and get some more rubbers. I was like, what? No, she ain't say that. She was like, yeah, you know, I can't be hitting these bitches with the strap on. You know what I'm saying? Like hitting random. Like, yeah, I already went kind of Don't make any sense. I don't know, man. From I, a, it's a sanitary thing. For. But, your, your dykes don't wear rubbers? 
<laughs> I don't even know how to answer that question. <laughs> with the truth? Not going to answer you answer it with the truth. That's how you answer it. <laughs> Let it don't happen. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this. I don't know what's happening. This is not my story. I'm sorry, if y'all, saw that. No. I'm sorry if y'all saw that. I literally almost shot a booger. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that go. What? Laugh at some that's how he sound. He said, "My dice don't do that." Nah, my dice know better. No, hey, yo, my dice know better. Hey, yo, my dice better be winning. Hey, wow, yo. <laughs> the vicious dice better be winning, Jimmy. <laughs> I should have said. I should have said that. That is a liquor. That's not the hey, right show. Hey, <laughs> yo, not the right show to say that. Hey, yo, hey, am I right on that note? I'm gonna take five, bro. Fatty, <laughs> you in? It's not the right show to say that though. It's not this the right nigga way. is wild. It's not the right way to say that though. No, no, Russell. No. Yeah, bro. Come on, let me tag you in, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. I gotta, I gotta tag you in, bro. Jesus. Devin is on another level. Stay your ass over there, Russell. I don't even know where to go for me. I don't either. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're clicking on the sound bites and shit. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> we got a machine now. We got a machine now. Uh, I don't know where to go for me. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga definitely pulled up some. You saw that shit now? Like, what the fuck was he pulling up? Bruh. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, Let's get into some of Favorite the Kobe moments. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what, what's your favorite Kobe moment? My favorite, I'll start off. Okay. My favorite Kobe moment was when he was a sneaker free agent and he was just wearing all kind of like crazy ass sneakers. The nigga had the AI <laughs> the questions, all kind of shit, bro. That was a crazy He played time. with the true blue threes. Yeah. He played in everything. Yeah. <laughs> that was a crazy shit. I think my favorite Kobe moment was uh, the Kobe commercials with him and LeBron. Yeah. The yeah. Oh, the Kobe commercials. Yeah. 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 That's just yeah. fire. Like, um, that, that, yeah, that, that to me was monumental. Mm. There was nothing mm. like the um, Penny Hardaway shit. Yeah. Yeah, with the puppet. And, yeah. <laughs> with, penny, with, penny, with the little, little figurine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the the puppets, to me, was... They don't make commercials like that no more. Yeah, that was crazy. Really don't, and that was the last of that. Like, Yeah, it really was. Um, Allen Iverson, before that, had the um, the answer commercial. Yeah. With Jada, Jada Kiss. Kiss. Yeah. yeah. Doing the crossovers and shit. Like, yeah. whoa, that the fuck? Bro, that yeah. shit, that, that was shit one of the dopest commercials to ever come out. Yeah, man. One of the yeah. dopest commercials, hands down. But um, the puppet one, yeah, that was the last of his time. Nigga, oh. nigga, the Kobe Bryant broke ankles commercial. That is what I'm always going to remember. This nigga was on a horse for no damn reason. <laughs> <laughs> on a basketball court. I remember that nigga him out like, bro, check out that. You see that uh, Kobe bro ankles commercial yet? I'm like, nah, bro. So I go on YouTube, bro. <laughs> it's this nigga Kobe on a horse, bro. <laughs> nigga, nigga's ankles are exploding. Like, they like mannequin statues. <laughs> They're like, bro ankles. Bro ankles. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this, bro? Why are you on a horse, Kobe? On a basketball court. That shit didn't make no sense. Bro. Kobe that definitely had crying, a lot bro. of moments that were like, <coughs> all right, what's going on? That shit had me crying. You remember that GQ shoot? When he, had when he that was in outfit? I was just about to talk nigga about was that. In, nigga was in ISIS. He was just, <laughs> bro. I don't think you can say that. Like, Kobe. I was gonna say he was a Muslim in the desert, and he took it to a next level. Nah, bro, definitely like. Me. I said that several times Kobe ISIS. had joined ISIS on my Facebook. I probably should take that down, but yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Was, oh, yeah no, I gotta was, take, yeah, I gotta yeah. take that down. Yeah. At yeah. least oh, that was that was what it was funny. Oh, yeah, oh, take it down. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take it down. Hey, don't listen to that first Kobe shot challenge episode. I might take that off. You probably should take that. I, I, think take I that heard it. I'm like, whoa, we should not. <laughs> that, should be that, episode that, episode. Is, uh, that episode was pretty bad. Put it on the Patreon. Put it on the Patreon. It yeah. was some shit, but it was. Nah, it was hilarious, though. It, it was, was hilarious, hilarious, but it turned out to end up actually being my favorite Kobe moment. Though. That's yeah. crazy. Because we said a lot I of truly believe stuff. Kobe heard these niggas say. He won't do what he did. I felt like that's what and the nigga dropped sixty. Like nigga, I didn't know to the next day this nigga had dropped sixty. That's how fucked up points. we was. Okay, like I, I don't. I didn't finish. I don't remember finishing. I remember that getting. Game. I remember listening to the live stream and oh, bro, they was crying, bro. It was like, hey, bro. was legit crying, like. 
All right, <laughs> I'm about to take this next shot. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe he's still scoring. And then he was shooting so much that by the time they took that shot, they had to pull it right back again. Bro, I was like, this nigga definitely hurt us. Man. That shit was hurting. Yeah, bro, we didn't, we didn't, I don't know why we didn't drink that shit with ice. I don't think I had yeah. ice, but we were drinking that shit. Oh, nah, bro, and we was some real deep ball niggas, though, bro. That's bro what that shit we was, was eating Publix chicken. Did you, why did that, why did we get chicken? Fuck it, we got chicken that night to watch this game. The whole that we very wicked, ignorant. Man. The whole, it didn't work. It did <laughs> not work. I'm pretty sure it helped. <laughs> Imagine eating a Larry's Giant sub and drinking all that liquor. Bro, oh I remember my, my I was like, I, I remember I hear myself I'm like, man, I had to go, I gotta get my son the next day. You was like, nigga, what? <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. Bro, why did you? Why are you just bringing this? I up? slept on it. He good, nigga. Why is there a fucking lint ball on this fucking oh down avenue? Oh boy, you should order that pizza from the south side. Man, God bless the germs. Devil eat the worms. I'm too <laughs> faded. I gotta eat this shit. Shout out to Dunn Avenue. I done took 10 <laughs> shots because these niggas can't measure cups. Cups and shot glasses. I thought we measured that quite well. We did it for Kobe. Three man. niggas measured it. I did it for Kobe. Hell, I had to put the team on my back. This nigga Devin acting like a hope. I did the first cool. I did the first Kobe shot challenge five years I ago. Did. <laughs> I did it. I'm fine with it. Like, nigga, I did it too. That's cool. Like, so? Yeah. You finna be falling asleep in a minute anyway. Nigga, we had we, we had your we, we you gonna be falling asleep in a minute. Who? He said, I'm going to be falling asleep. Oh, I thought he was yeah, kind of. Joe, you was halfway sleepy over there. Match it. And then niggas hit the coma pack. I'm pretty sure Joe also. had his head down. I, I ain't had enough of the coma pack yet. I'm, I need to see if I can pick something Get some up help. Way to the Get some help. Stop it. <laughs> Speaking of another goat, stop it. Get some help. Get some help. <laughs> this nigga about to die from alcohol. Now he wants some, want to smoke. Hey, man. That, that, he that said he had to balance it out. Mm. You don't know me paying attention, bro. I do pay attention. Sometimes. Okay. Let me ask y'all a question. Talk What's up? So I kind of didn't want to bring this up, right? I tweeted about it earlier. Do y'all think, um, like, conspiracies and shit, like, involving, like... Celebrity... Sacrifices and, like, Illuminati type <clears throat> shit. Do y'all think that's, like, crippling the black community? That might be a strong word, crippling... But do you think that's just like an issue? Like niggas thinking every time something happened it's with the celebrity dying, I think there's some kind of conspiracy involved with it. Not even, not even, not even. I think so that much. shit's ridiculous. Like, I want to say stup- cribbling because you just stupid just ignore the shit. Yeah, it, it is, but it's just so many niggas that like bring it up. Like right. it's kind of like Dr. Omar you off. Johnson was wild. I didn't even bother hmm? reading that. Huh? He was wild. Well, he was wild. Please don't explain uh, what he said. But oh, he I, was, didn't, I, I saw the video. Okay, I saw the video. One point three seconds. I saw the video him talking, but I was just like, I ain't finna click on. Yeah, but it's just like celebrities in general. Everything gotta have like a conspiracy, and it's kind of disrespectful. It really is, actually. Yeah. Because, all right, in this situation, I don't see how you could create a conspiracy around something. Well, I'm just talking about like, in general because I don't want to bring up like the Kobe what's going on with Kobe, right, right, you know, right, right, right. Right. but I'm just talking about in general. Like, why does why is that always brought up? I think that unfortunately, the black community just believes. I mean, hell. Have you ever well- read the Willie Lynch letter? Have you ever met this nigga? <laughs> Touche. The hell. You, yeah, you can hit the button. Just Boom. Like, green, green, green ass, ass nigga. Fucking hand off the goddamn button. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got a record. I was thinking that letter. Honey, where I'm going You almost got torture right. It would be <laughs> crazy if you would have been able to torture right kid like that. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Did we ever tell you a story? Did we ever tell you a story how you found out where Gratata came from? Don't no, talk about it. No, do don't. not. Don't talk about it. Don't bring this up. I don't do it. Do not. Joe do can't get in his parents to start? No, that's Patreon. Bro, okay. Don't do it. Okay, bro. That's Patreon. You don't make it. We, we definitely going to say it. We definitely going to say it. You're going to make me fucking mad in here. That's Patreon only. I thought it was the fucking South Side. That nigga kept saying it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode that nigga be like, Grata. <laughs> Joe was real, real, real deal hurt when he found it. <coughs> I was like, wait, what? As fuck. Nah, what? I was gonna let him slide too. I don't, I don't bring it up. Is anybody gonna you tell? Him, is anybody gonna tell him where that's from? I wasn't. 
I wouldn't say a shit. He was he was he was fully committed. He Y'all see how this nigga Devin is? Like, <laughs> he like, was committed. I was to a it. This nigga. Every chance. Because he said it like two times, and I was like, I'm gonna let him slide. And he just kept saying, like, I'm like, bro, is he might tell him where this from? You just laugh and just keep saying this shit. Let it they ride. know I would not say it. <laughs> If, if I knew, you should probably start looking up stuff before you start saying. Because he was fully invested. Like, go back, I know go back. It was like four straight episodes where he said that shit. I know something you tell children, but I'm gonna tell you. you probably should look it up before you start saying it. Joe really thought you had a catchphrase. So he, <laughs> so he, told, he was like, remember the Dave Chappelle skit when nigga was like, oh, oh, bitch, that face he made when he like, bitch, you cooking? Like that's that's the face Joe had on his face. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was stop a sad it. day. I had to stop it before I started saying it on, on the internet. It was a sad day. Oh my. <laughs> That's funny. Back to the conspiracy. What you think? Um, I'm, I'm entertained <coughs> by some of the conspiracies. I'm just talking about like sacrifices and Illuminati only. Of course, all right, all right, I, I, yeah, fuck yeah. With, I fuck with a bunch of conspiracies, yeah, but yeah. just like ignorant ones. About this. All right, so like the whole Illuminati theory. I'll say this. Um, there are some. That man, I, I I followed it and it's like, damn, something about this could be believable. Bro, it'd be you know wild. I mean? It'd be wild if all that shit was real, bro. Like, like niggas, niggas would freak the fuck out. Like, I mean, I can believe it. Any- I don't be flabbergasted. I don't even use that word. If a nigga told me an alien <laughs> was real, I could believe that shit. I could believe it. Like, well, I mean, I ain't got no reason not to. Really. I hate to sound gullible as fuck, but at the same token, like, yo. The world is fucking crazy. I mean, just because you don't see it don't mean it don't exist, bro. Anything you believe, you can manifest. Yeah. Right? With that with that being said, if a nigga told me he would be willing to do whatever it takes necessary to make it to the top, right? Yeah. Like, me, myself, personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And things that I cannot foresee happen along the way. It's justifiable. Well, I don't smoke PCP, so I don't believe that shit. All right, well, hear me well, out. You need to start back smoking You ain't even got to smoke then, PCP. You watch yeah. Disney movies? You need, you need to start back. Oh, my God. I don't know where this is going. You ask, hey, man, let me you this conspiracy shit. Let's see what he say. <clears throat> Y'all remember Hercules? Clear it up. You're not talking about Kobe, right? Nah, you don't nah, want to look. Nah, fuck. Cl- no, nah, I'm, I'm helping you out. Yeah, you go, yeah, 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 I'm please, saving you yeah. from looking like a fucking idiot. Yeah, but you just talking about in general. Uh, in general. Oh, okay. Yeah, we I thought we were on the same page. No, sometimes people probably don't catch it. Yeah, we're clear. We just talking about conspiracies. Right well, now. shit, them niggas would have been looking like an idiot. No, um, nigga, they don't know. You got to sometimes you got to explain stuff. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> 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 if I was next to you, I would be like, So, you remember Hercules? Yeah. When that nigga made a deal with Hades? I remember Hercules plates from McDonald's. I had I had the one where they were singing, the muses were singing. Yeah, I had the I one with the, the, the horse the horse one. <laughs> the what? These oh, niggas, the horse. These the niggas horse. had McDonald's money. Like, yeah, growing up, I ain't eat at McDonald's yeah. as much I as y'all did. Yeah, our parents love the fuck out of us. Man, you should order a Happy Meal. Yeah, you should. It's just like $2. <laughs> nigga <laughs> order a quarter pounder <laughs> with cheese. My mama <laughs> would say, my mama would say, you got McDonald's money, then we ain't going. Damn, my nah. mama definitely had McDonald's money. And I have, did not. This, I, felt, I used to feel bad as a kid. Have y'all ever, like, ordered, asked for McDonald's, and your parents only get you McDonald's, and they eat a ham sandwich? Nah. Yeah, yeah, that, damn, I feel bad. Yeah, like, nah, that might be just me. Nah, <laughs> nah, I've had a situation. Your parents My mom raised suck. three of us by herself. You know what I'm damn, saying? Damn, my mom used to work at Winn-Dixie. She was pretty much a single mom. Yeah, man. but she ain't, but okay, but she ain't had McDonald's in that. Yeah, yeah, my mom raised three no, of us by No, herself. she got me My mom did. No, she got me don't, McDonald's. Don't, don't justify it. You just sound like an asshole yeah. right now. Mama got me McDonald's. I don't sound like an asshole to me. Bro. I just said, mom. I just said I got McDonald's when my mom ate a ham sandwich. I said, my mom got me McDonald's. All right, man. What, what, you just you pissing me off right now. <laughs> you just, See, you're pissing me off you just, right now. You just drunk. <laughs> don't reminisce on it. Bro. He has no common, no sense. It's not even common or uncommon. <laughs> So you gonna finish telling the story? This nigga got a frog go brain. The this nigga is- made the deal with Hades. You know what I'm saying? It almost got old girl killed, but it was a Disney movie, so of course they had to save it. Mm-hmm. But long story short, 
the nigga wanted to make it to heaven. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He had every bit of every bit of an opportunity. I thought that nigga was just strong. Yeah, I thought he was just strong. I don't know if he wanted to make it there because he kind of turned the deal. He down wanted to deal with his movie. father, man. Turned the deal down at the end of the movie. Yeah, because he ended up finding love the woman that was killed by Hades. She was a hoe. She was definitely nigga. What does this got to do with anything? I'm just saying, like, this, love man. Me. That's the liquor if a nigga, if a nigga, <laughs> and the coma pad talking. If a nigga said he was willing nigga, to make it to the Goof top, you ever seen Goof Troop? It's about a single father. <laughs> it is. It was definitely <laughs> about he a single father. He made a deal with the on. devil, nigga. He never said who yeah. his mom was. Nigga, he made a deal with the like devil. This nigga look like Kevin. This nigga like Kevin Hart at the at the Rock Nation brunch. <laughs> Just tell you to say it stuff. You ever seen the Lion King with the two brothers? <laughs> All right, so Akuna, a Nat Patty Wack. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a Kuna Matata. I'm gonna give you an analogy. <laughs> Y'all ever heard the whole conspiracy behind Jay Z being as big as he was with like? Yeah, he sacrificed a lot of fucking people. Yeah. Okay. And you believe it? No, I don't. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know that nigga personally. Okay. You know, like he likes sacrificing sure. people. I mean, there are countless stories I could just say. You know what I mean? You got old boy. Uh, they got a Netflix documentary, um, The Devil's Crossroads, or some shit like that. But, oh, um, you seen that? Yeah, I don't. You got <laughs> you got both. Guys, Joe I don't has think about a six 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 tattoo on him. Man, the shut the fuck <laughs> up! Whoa, whoa! I got a tattoo that says "Blessed under God." That's it. How many? How many yeah, have you guys seen it? That's six letters each you gotta word. See my Joe. Tats. You don't yeah. see him. Yeah. He has no tattoos. Yeah. They're covered. Oh, okay. So you, you KD? I said that's. I said that's six letters in each word, though, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> God has six letters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you spell it. <laughs> Nigga spelling like DJ Clue. God. Still letters. That's crazy, bro. Anyway, nigga made a deal with the devil. If a nigga, so the Jay Z analogy was, you know, he sacrificed many people along the way to be as big as he was. So my 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 purpose in even saying any of that was just to say. Sometimes you make deals that you can't foresee the end of. Like even in um. Fuck, I, I, I just had the movie and now the look at Idle hands? Jumanji. That's coming soon. Shut up. Okay. Nigga. Jumanji. <laughs> they made a lot of Wait, deals. Wait, hear him out, movie, bro. Yeah, a lot what, of deals what, what, what happened in Jumanji? They made a lot of deals, bro. With, With the, the devil? devil? <laughs> I don't guess. Who, the devil had to make that movie. They had to make that game, bro. It was Rattles coming out that bit. Yeah, Tasmanian devils. Yeah. Devils was running through their living room. They was, bro. It was whole elephants running through niggas' rest. Yeah, whole <coughs> elephants, man. I mean, songs, another Disney cop. example would be Aladdin when Jafar was the genie. Three and wishes. He, yeah, he gave old boy the three wishes. So what I'm saying is, you 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 tell yourself, I'm willing to do whatever to make it to the top. And you, there are things that happen along the way that you can't foresee. So mm-hmm. if one of your homeboys passes close enough to you, it could seem like a conspiracy in the sense, you know, yeah. you you brush right past it just in pursuit <coughs> yeah. of what you're you pretty much saying on. that you can see people thinking, okay, that's why yeah. that will happen, which yeah. is kind of ridiculous because we all live life. Right. We all got a eventually. We all up. got an expe- expiration date. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And a lot of the <clears throat> situations, I mean, you know, some of the times that people are passing and such. So Glad like, you cleared that up. I'm feel, I almost feel bad for interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, him a lot. Sometimes that uh some of the times that people pass it's like, you know, why were you even in that situation? You know what I mean? Like yeah. what were you thinking? You know what I mean? Um um of course it's not as often, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I never wish for anybody to pass in a situation to where they know better or given a little more time they would have had the opportunity to change you know what i mean but i just look at it to say some of the conspiracy theories that i've heard personally seem a bit exaggerated you know yeah, most of them yeah. yeah so anybody else fuck with conspiracy theories no not after that know. shit i don't want to see you don't fucked up disney movies for me bro i ain't watching none of that shit no more <laughs> Watch Peter Pan. Nah, fuck it. Yeah, nigga. I nope. just, when I seen Hercules, I was just like, hey, this nigga lift up a building. And they was singing good songs in there. Like, Hercules. Who is my name? Joe don't pull out a composition no more. No one knows. That shit went dark. Like, see, really, when he kicked that lion, that meant he was kicking segregation. <laughs> Really, he was giving up all his strength to save everybody else. It was supposed to be like a story of 
him becoming a guy which <coughs> that's funny because they said that was like one of the worst Disney movies like money wise they could make that's crazy that's crazy because to me the premise of that was genius yeah it was a good movie but they said that shit ain't do shit in the movie theaters I could I'm believe like what that, the though. fuck I could believe that I mean you gotta think it's a it's just a movie about a white man <laughs> He's a Greek guy. So. He was absolutely okay. white. Nah, that nigga was white. Okay, yeah. He was white. <laughs> Saying he almost narrated by, I mean, pretty much narrated by black Crackers. women. Yeah, no, right. it was black women. The music was, the music was saying they was saying they asses off. Like, Bro, it was getting good, over that shit. For real, that was a good soundtrack. It was a lot of black culture in that movie. Fuck that yeah. people, Bro. That people overlook. Bro, niggas ran Disney. I don't care. But Look at that goofy movie. None of it was highlighted. You know what I'm saying? And at the time that it released, it wasn't like with a white um, lead. Black people were gonna, you know, pour into the theaters to yeah. go and see that shit. Yeah, you know like why I mean? the hell is uh the nigga from Ferris Bueller playing an African lion? Like I was confused <laughs> as fuck. Like what, nigga, what the <laughs> fuck? That's Ferris Bueller playing Simba. And he in Africa. Okay. Yeah, they had a nigga do all the singing. Yeah, a nigga right. do all the singing. Right. <laughs> that was wild as fuck, bro. They ain't give a damn. Still recognize niggas can sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you when say I that's found, all you jigaboos good when, for. When I found out Jason Weaver was the one singing for uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas in the first line, I let it ride. Let that shit ride because it's true, nigga. Jason Weaver was singing for Jonathan Taylor Thomas in Lion King in 1995. Look it up. Tabby Campbell sang for uh, the Goofy movie. He damn right he did. Well, we got a part too. Yeah, he ain't just singing, dude. Nah, he didn't say any. He ain't had no lines. His line, he was just singing the what whole is, damn movie. Ain't, what is Goofy a dog? Yeah. Roof, roof, roof. Roof. Thank you, dog. Speaking yeah. of speaking of dog, it's a perfect segue. Okay. Y'all see this shit? Oh <laughs> my god! All Dude. right, so this happened on Twitter today, dog. Huh. So, so somebody, <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody tweeted like, "Damn, this on Philly shit." Dog. <laughs> no, so bro. They say, <laughs> say, <laughs> liquor, they say a, bro. They say police received a report <laughs> that a brown and white pit bull <laughs> was jumping, has been seen jumping from <laughs> roof to roof. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> this uh, shit was a money bag, yo. Are they sure was a money bag, yo? Look at, bro, the look at this fucking dog, bro. That's money bag you. <laughs> that ain't no damn. That's money bag you. That's no damn dog. That's hilarious, bro. When I first saw this shit this morning, bro, I had to pull on, the, pull off the highway because I was <laughs> yelling. That was scared the fuck out of me. Like, imagine we waking up seven o'clock in the morning about to go to where you see a goddamn pit bull <laughs> outside your window on the second floor. So apparently, <laughs> jumping from roof to roof, bro. <laughs> So apparently this pit bull was just jumping from roof to roof. Bro. That's oh, all they were trying They ain't to take it out. They should have took it no. out. They should have. That's, That's hilarious. Apparently every time they tried to go on the roof, he would jump. <laughs> Come on, bro. Off of the roof. I heard they attacked somebody wearing a Michael Vick <laughs> jersey. Okay. That's what I heard. Bro, you heard that? That? Bro, this nigga is up there like in, like Birdman and Trainer Day in the jungles. Bro. Ooh, yeah. Bro, that's what he yeah, up he there is, looking bro. like. How did he get up there? He jumped out of the second know. story window and just... Kept fucking just kept running. fucking jumping yeah, off the <coughs> Oh, remember that story we told old girl that time we were talking about the uh, that gang of pit bulls in Detroit? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that's been that's been that um, actually happened. That's been oh, yeah, that's, that's been really clarified. clarified. Yeah. That really did happen, and they and it's it's up to forty now. <laughs> <laughs> the what? <laughs> it's a gang of pit bulls right around bulls. seven mile Detroit. Bro. It's a gang. <laughs> like they clicked up. <laughs> he went from 20 to 40 They got leather vests though I, I, I worked with two guys from Michigan They said oh yeah that that's shit real crazy. Like that's 7 mile yeah, yeah, That shit definitely is real It is like, a gang why? of pit bulls up there Like why won't y'all take them out Like I don't understand why y'all let the numbers up. He's like oh yo crazy, Like Sharknado Yeah like bro Like bro, when they start bro, breeding the during the, He's like when they start breeding during the summer It's that's gonna be crazy, really bad bro. I'm like nigga just just stop them. They like, literally be the closing the glass, the like gas station out on seven them. mile. Like, <laughs> oh, you can't come around here. Right. <laughs> they said it's up to forty. Can you imagine forty goddamn people? They might be keeping the neighborhood safe. From what? From I don't know. Gentr- gentrification. Like gentrification. Niggas be trying okay. to rob, rob the store, and then pack of dogs come out of nowhere <laughs> and stop them. <laughs> you, you don't know. Crazy. <laughs> 
I said a pack of dogs and shout out to this dog. I don't know if they ever got bro, but this nigga was just jumping from. <laughs> I don't know if they ever got bro. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to say that. How close are these houses together? Like, with this nigga just leaping from house to house. They had to call the cops. They definitely had to get. They definitely like, shot that dog. Off like the this, this close. This nigga just. The niggas called Ryan. Like, hey, you. <laughs> Like, hey, you busy? <laughs> nah, boy, I saw this shit on the news, boy, I'm about to go out there. Nigga, group text is like, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 what's the... What? What's the best cheese steak spot in Philly? Like, boy, the nigga, what? All right, why are you hitting us up about cheese steak? I'm in Philly right now trying to get that dog. Right, <laughs> they, they flew me out. <laughs> they flew me out for the dog, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we found this nigga was lying about being a fireman the whole damn time, bro. Like, he just go around shooting pit bulls, bro. <laughs> nigga, a pit bull bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> nigga got it on, came out, come across a mile for last week, named Big Buck. Like, what is his name, Ryan? Big Buck. Well, I gotta go catch Big Buck. Uh, you can tell me what the best cheese thing is or what? <laughs> it's like pizza. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Shout out Ryan. We gotta bring Ryan back because I feel like we wrote some movies. Shout out Ryan. Ryan. He, 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 he gotta bring Ryan. That nigga back. be texting me, bro. Like, we, nigga, why y'all had to say that shit on the show, boy? I, was like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Why you texting me? I'm not the only one to be on the show. Bro, bro, niggas be on the I instantly started thinking about it. It was episode 100, but I think right before episode 100, we was at the old Ryan crib where the cop used to be at. Yeah. See? And he just started running cooking grips during the podcast. See? See, he was proof. 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 This nigga, we are not lying about this shit. Nigga, that really nigga, had a gun book. That, that I'm so just, glad I wasn't. That, that, that nigga just got up on the table. <laughs> and we like, this nigga, yeah, that was from. He just came whipping some grits. Like, bro, yeah. when did you even put the water and the oats together? <laughs> bro, it was like a house full of niggas. Look at this. It's these two, Jordy, me, and Stan. He just, put, he just put the grits on the plate. And Ryan was there, and he just ran and hopped up in, on the stove and started making grits. Bro, Man, that shit perfectly. I didn't see no butter, no salt or pepper. It was just grits. <laughs> just Ryan, grits, bro. Yes, is a different nigga. When I met That's Ryan. Dog, bro. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan is one of the realest niggas. That's when I met dog. Ryan, Ryan used to be like, yeah, boy. I got to work tonight, but don't, I mean, hey, we're also going to be over there. Y'all just pull up. I mean, if y'all got some hoes, y'all can take them over there. Uh, just be respectful. Be mindful of the crib. That sound like right. It's like, nigga, that what nigga was mean? That nigga was 35 in our 20s, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stop giving me advice. We the same age. At least his soul was. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, bro. What's what going to do with real niggas of the week? They need their ass beats and get up out of here. Sending real niggas of the weekend, they need their ass beats. Just email us at mail at ariopodcast.com. It's mail at ariopodcast.com. Or you can tweet us at ariopodcast on Twitter. That might, I think that's like the most. Go ahead and do your, do your. Keep forcing it. Like, do yours. Um, uh, uh, the NBA, uh, the Spurs and what, Spurs and the Raptors for giving that twenty four second spot. Well, all teams did that. Yeah, they, they was the first ones to do it though. Well, yeah, they, they played first. first. Well, yeah, I mean, that was the first. One. It was a good idea though. Yeah, it was the first one doing it. Everybody followed suit. Well, they did the, the twenty. On, the they did the um. They did the twenty four, but other teams are doing the uh the eight backcourt. Yeah, every, and then the twenty four. Yeah, everybody doing different shit, bro. But shout out to them for doing it first. Yeah, shout out, man. I, I mean, they shouldn't have been playing that day, but shout out, though. Yeah, they definitely shouldn't have. <coughs> it's kind of hard to cancel that, that game. That's what I figured, too, because it literally had just happened. They, they only had, like, a 20-minute notice. Yeah. yeah. I saw people upset. Oh, like, <laughs> they can't. really didn't have it. was people in the yeah. arena chilling. Yeah. yeah they well, no I mean, the rest of the day, though, should have been canceled. Yeah, the rest of the day. Like, they actually I don't know, man. I can see why they played that day. I can't, Probably not the next day. I can too, as well, honestly, because it's a lot that would have went into it. You got to reimburse tickets and shit like yeah. that. Like it would have been a lot. You always but reschedule. The, the, but yeah, the, Lakers, yeah, yeah, the but. Lakers are not playing. Uh, what tomorrow? They postpone the game. Yeah, Lakers and Clippers. Yeah, yeah. they're not playing tomorrow. Yeah. No, they're supposed to play tonight, wasn't it? Tuesday. Well, if you're listening, it was two days ago. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, my, I broke the fourth wall. Nah. No, this nigga broke the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure people realize right now we don't do it the day they hear this shit. That'll be like ignorant as fuck. Yeah. I like, record that bitch and they just hear it like, 
Yeah, we was in that bed four o'clock in the morning on a Thursday. <laughs> it's hard, it's hard, it's hard, working, it's hard working for y'all niggas. It's yeah. hard to keep it up when you're drinking. It's hard yeah, to we do this two days before here. One day if you got the Patreon. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got the Patreon. We recorded and you hit that shit that same night, man. But yeah. and you get that bonus content. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Just little saying. this, little that. Pay. Just saying. Yeah, all cost a five, man. Five bucks, man. That like three bag. That's like a Chill bag out on that five dollar foot long. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. Go ahead and get you a five dollar a month subscription. Yeah, some good ass content. You can't yeah, buy man. no coochie with five dollars, so you no, might, well, might as well yeah. bring it right here, man, with the Patreon. You, man. It's sometimes just slow days. I don't know what R- you R- fucking R- with. R.A.O.P. Water. R.A.O.P. Ain't water. nothing here. Nigga <laughs> distract Best water in the world R.A.O.P. Water. I wouldn't even want five dollar coochie. R.A.O.P. Water. I see. That should have tell your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've already. You don't used know this that. one. You don't but know it all the way. You put your dick in and you just start. Sitting here, she got it. That nigga pull up like, bro. Oh, I ordered the. No, I, I ordered the coochie with no teeth. <laughs> it's super. Nigga got super AIDS. Get what you pay for. Super AIDS. Super AIDS. You come back with a capo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That nigga Eric he no. sent me. He sent me this shit when he screen capped this chick IG, and she was she was like. Um, I'm, 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 what she said? She said, I'm letting niggas fuck raw for, for twenty dollars. Hit me up now. No. I was like, bro, she got the AIDS. She got AIDS. She bro. letting niggas fuck for twenty dollars. Hey, I can start a fuck. She got the house in Virginia, bro. Oh, Automatically, man. I you just know she got it, bro. She was like, hit me up now. Hey. Hit me up immediately. <laughs> yeah, it's hit now. I'm almost, like, oh. almost send it to Devin. This, this a pro, no. this a pro <laughs> tip. This a pro tip. We can go to Japan, bro. The mm. ten ball get you anything you need. Mm. Oh, I believe that. How much? I seen uh, the ten dollar ball get you whatever I'll be you scared, need. Scared, nigga. So I you seen, be fucking uh, niggas in the cool I might, I might have to clear it up so people don't think that I'm that type of nigga. So let me, let me get it right the best. Nah, it's nah, too late. Tell us how you found out. Too late. No, 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 you don't just. He don't know that language. I'm gonna give him the language. He was walking with a ten dollar bill behind his ear. Rolled up like a cigarette. You want tonight? You want tonight? That's what they were saying. No, 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 no. He had that shit in his hand like, here's what happens. Here's what happens. Here's what happens. Eat his Alba? That's how they do it. Here's what happens. You might hit a certain block. Jordan? You might hit a certain block, you know, in Tokyo or whatever. And it's going to be like a line of Nigerians. Excuse me? That's purposely looking for American niggas to take them to. Excuse me? What? That's. That nigga took oh, us no, that's to real Japan. Specific. They yeah. from Nigeria, us, bro. <laughs> I asked. Why right. did you? Go, but why Nigerian they? Nigerian refugees. How's that helping us? Because <laughs> I don't want to expose the rest of them details. Because whoever do go to Tokyo, I want them to get that part of the experience on why. But they'll they'll catch it when they over there. Text but anyway, say, hey, to all my ballers out there, they specifically <laughs> targeting Americans to go check out these skirt clubs. Bet. And for wink, wink. a thousand yen, which is only ten dollars. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. The rest is <laughs> a thousand yen. Paying, paying bitches rent. <laughs> this nigga's wallet. That's rent. That ain't gonna hit us. So he gonna be planning a, a trip. When the man is going to Tokyo. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, just saying. Just saying. Yeah. I always wanted so. to go there for not not for that reason though. Uh, oh no 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 to- no to- no Tokyo is fire. Like, Tokyo is amazing. That's, that's I want to see amazing. how they made the did you do the uh, Mario Kart? Yeah, tax me, though. Huh? You did the Mario Kart? <coughs> no, nah, that shit like expensive. And then like just for Wait, how much work, I'm like expensive? how much moving around I was gonna be doing. It was like you know, it was American expensive. But... What like Tokyo? Yeah, or Japanese oh. expensive. So at the time, like a hundred. A th- uh, like yeah, like a hundred US dollars is like um like a couple hundred thousand. What? Years. But it really do spend like everyday type shit. Like you can fuck around and, and drop like a hundred a day. Mm-hmm. So I mean, if you're not paying attention, and that's like I'm not talking about you like you going to you know human made store, the babe right. store. You know, I'm just talking about like typical like going right. out to eat type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you can fuck around. Right there. Huh? <laughs> Her debate was cheaper. Right there. Dirt cheap. Really? Pulling up with five, but even dollars. like so, like my favorite part of Tokyo is a neighborhood called Kyoji, and it's like the thrift neighborhood or one yeah. of the thrift neighborhoods. So like they got like 
I'm talking about like eighties Ralph Lauren in that 80s bitch. Ralph Lauren? I'm talking like two thousand five to like oh nine Supreme in that bitch for like normal Supreme prices, right? right? Like hey, it was man, wild. It's been a while since you took me on an expedition, man. What's up? You you, you down to take us to on a tour to Tokyo? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get better than that That got that good ass ramen shit. Like, I'm shit, only coming with five hundred dollars and they're like a king. Nigga, you gonna be at the whole Well, yeah, just keep this fucking nigga gonna thousand, be like uh, Peter Griffin. Bitches, you gonna be that's and a uh, Family Guy when that's that fine. nigga was trying to stay out there. Yeah, I'm thousand years, but I'm gonna say this here, bro. Don't tip. Thank God, don't Bet. tip. I won't tip. Don't tip. No, I'm not tipping. Tip you know you gonna have to have cash out there, right? Okay. You got it. You got to You know you can't come out there with a five, your five star card. I know, nigga. I get it. I get it. This nigga Devin texts me, text me. Text me once a month, bro. Your, your five star card working? I like, bro. Take. He was like, bro, I can't some cash. I'm like, bro, take. Carry cash like a human being. I'm not like, giving a shit about bachelor. I'm sorry, bro. Like, what is carry? I'm like, bro, keep like keep like eighty dollars in your wallet at all times. I'm a cash nigga, bro. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, bro. I'm a card nigga. I'm a cash got, nigga I'm to sorry. the death. It's so much boy. easier. It's just so much easier. I hear all that, bro. But that cash, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's just, cash, it's just, bro. Just I, just know, I know it's there. They should have never put a damn I rarely in the use, card. Bro. I rarely use cash, but I just have some in my wallet you got just to, in case. Bro. You, got yeah, you to. never know. Especially you got five stars. That nigga else said I don't trust five stars. Like, nigga, star. we the same bank. I don't trust. I don't. I don't know five stars and national bank or whatever, but. Be careful with Vostar. Yeah, you definitely have I to. Seen, they done had too many I done seen Vostar shut down, and I'm like in McDonald's, and grown people getting turned away <laughs> for $3 McDoubles because they don't uh, got cash in their wallet. You know how embarrassing that was? <laughs> Everybody saw their car decline, decline. Bruh. People thinking you ain't got $3. This is because Vostar shut bitch, down. Bro, they, what they, like, oh, this bitch broke. She ain't got three fifty for this damn meal. Get yeah, like, out of here! Like a couple weeks ago, I didn't get my paycheck, and I was like, "Cause I get paid every Thursday. I mean, like every other Thursday." So it's like, nigga, it's like five p.m. I'm like, nigga, where my paycheck at? Five I look stars. at the fucking news. My stars having a data reach <laughs> and direct the party. Like, what kind of stupid shit is I this? I swear it's the same. It's always the it same, nigga. nigga. Spending your check. It's always the same. Nigga, like, this doesn't happen at Bank of America. It's, like, it's got to be an inside job because the nigga do it before holidays. <laughs> he did it before the hurricane yeah. shit. We was just empty yeah. out niggas' accounts. It was like it was like, like, it was like Thanksgiving and everybody was like. It, like somebody had like a data breach and they like wiped everybody bank account. I'm starting to think it's Russell, bro, because this nigga card don't never fuck up. Nigga be like, hey, bro, your car fucked up. Nah, I'm that, straight. that shit didn't happen to me you? when everybody got their bank account wiped. That didn't happen to me. Well, you that too was did, ridiculous, nigga. nigga. <laughs> Russell, like, man, I ain't never have a problem with Vasta. I wait till y'all niggas tell me, and I be like, okay, good, because I got cash in my wallet, yeah. so I ain't gonna use this dumbass mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, bro. But yeah, shout out Tokyo, man. It's an amazing place. I'm about to make that happen. Yeah, man. I was going to see Tokyo, nigga. I'm a big anime fan. I'm oh, then you know I'm a I'm a big Gundam nigga. Did you see, did you see Toy Animation while you was over there? Mm-mm. Damn. Only thing I saw, like, so there's a neighborhood called um, Akira Barbara. I can't pronounce it right. But it's like the tech slash anime part of town. Like, it's straight anime and, and technology and arcades everywhere. Like, That's what's up. You got, like, two Sega arcades next door to each other. That's mm-hmm. wild. I'm going to leave with a Pokemon. If I don't leave that bit with a Pokemon, my Bro, they got, like, out. whole floors of, like, just Pokemon claw machines type shit. That's dope. I'm leaving with a Charizard, bro. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to Good luck like getting that on the plane mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll right. fly that bitch I'll fly, fly that bitch home bro You'll Fuck be it. straight in Japan But China though That nigga wink break <laughs> <laughs> Why you Why are you doing that yeah, I'll crash into Shut the up <laughs> Shut <laughs> up <laughs> <laughs> oh, He man. trying to put that nigga in back <laughs> Nigga this is not a piece In the overhead too. compartment bro Some bullshit of that bro. Shit. Calm down. Ooh. All right, my uh, I got a couple real niggas a week. I got Nip Nipsey Hustle <coughs> mm-hmm. won two Grammys this weekend. Man. Yeah, shout out to that. Shout out to J Cole. Shout That's out my real nigga of the week. Yeah, um, yeah. Trey Young wearing number eight. He was the first person to do it. Bro, he got that shit quick too. Can we talk about that? They got that shit. That jersey quick as fuck. No, they make them in the back before the game. That's it's crazy. just stitch. They just oh, they just put it glue on that shit on. That was fire. Yeah. Cause y'all remember when um. The day Nipsey died, um, uh, what's his, what's her name? Um, crazy, I forgot his name. Jimmy Butler, mm-hmm. he had a jersey with his number and it said "Hustle" on the back. Damn, he had it night that day. So yeah. Um, next one, Mark Cuban. He said he retiring number twenty four. 
I think the whole league should retire. Yeah, 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 I feel like I that. think that yeah. was. <laughs> but it's a bunch of players like like um, um yeah, I heard some Dimwitty. Just yeah, Dimwitty. Just he, he wear number twenty four. He said he gonna change his number. Yeah, I pre- yeah, I've got several shit things on mind changing their numbers. Yeah. But. Also, make Kobe the logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. make Kobe the fucking logo, I think that bro. Would be dope. Yeah, stop playing. <laughs> and I got this one. This random nigga. He said. uh had on this my is my team. real niggas. I've seen that one. He said, had on my Kobe tens when I caught this nigga lacking. Wow. Shout he just beat man. this nigga ass in Kobe tens. So <laughs> you see right. what a nigga got on? Jordan threes, bro. Getting his ass beat. Getting his ass That's beat. That's Kobe better than Jordan. Kobe there better than go. Jordan. He's one better than Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> He's one fade better than Jordan. <laughs> That's crazy. He's fading, this nigga. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> definitely <laughs> collapsed. Look at this front. sequence, bro. <laughs> This is a crazy Whatever series. he did, he not doing that shit ever again. Yeah. I got one more? Nah, that's it. <clears throat> I got submissions also. No, you got a real nigga of the week? Um, I mean, not really, but just to, to give back to Kobe again, you know yeah. what I'm saying, for a dedication. Also. I think it's unanimous, Kobe. Yeah. Is, uh, <coughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Without, you know what I'm saying? The real nigga of the week. Yeah. You got, um, you got one, Joe? You already did yours? Yeah, J. Cole uh, won his first, first Grammy. You know, I definitely wish him to win more. From a feature. From a feature. The one thing he was known got for not doing. Got him a 21 <laughs> going to Grammy. That was wild. <laughs> I thought shit, he was going to get one from that, um, from that revenge from album. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I thought so, too. Grammys be trolling, bro. I don't care. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's well-deserved. Um, honestly... I don't do too much griping when people actually get their Grammys. I do it a lot more when they when they're snubbed from them. Yeah, um, it seems like to get a Grammy nowadays, you just gotta get snubbed for a bunch of years. Yep, and then you eventually yep. get one off some fluke shit. Yep. Uh, I don't know, like Fifty that- Cent when he was getting he was getting snubbed on the years, and he won a Grammy for like Pop a Bottle from with M- okay, M- M- okay, what qualifies snub like like uh. Like what kind of deserve case. to win? Macklemore winning the Grammys over Kendrick Lamar yeah. is Kendrick Lamar getting snubbed. okay? Okay, because Lil Nas won, and I was trying to figure out like where would he fit in? Nah, because he was winning. He won Pop Award, so it don't really matter. Okay, yeah, okay. and not I just know. that. You got to consider what that genre. Actually like for is. example, for with um, Tyler the Creator, he was getting Grammy snubs, mm. and then he won. He won his shit off a of pop album, mm-hmm. which wasn't. He won Best Hip Hop Album, and that shit wasn't a right. hip hop album, All right? Like Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle should have won best album last year. Yep. Mm. And they gave that shit to Cardi B. And now he's deceased. Mm-hmm. And he got it from Racks in the Middle. Yeah. A song that was out and people really didn't care about him while he was still exactly. alive. Exactly. Yeah. And it blew up after exactly. he died. I mean, but Cardi was putting out some crazy shit that year too. No, just, not but it wasn't than better than the Nip Hussle. Not better than It wasn't Nip. better than the Nip album. And you gotta think about and it the wasn't legacy even, that and, he and, was building at that point. Not not legacy that we we've come to commemorate. You yeah, know what I mean? Like when that album came out, the day it came out, niggas was like, "This is a classic." Instantly, he yeah. had just given us two or three solid like. To yeah, me, Crenshaw that's, that's was a y'all, classic. but she she did the whole crossover shit too. Who? That's what that's what helped it. Cardi, Cardi B, she became a household name. But his, the shit and everything. It she did not. She was getting commercials. That, that's, that's it wasn't even. The, it wasn't even the best album sales wise. Cardi, that's B. there's even, no reason why she should have. So won you think that. she just won the popular vote? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Which is oftentimes <clears throat> what the Grammys is. I think general America who watches the <clears throat> Grammys is not voting for Kendrick Lamar over over Mac Lamar because he makes like the people that are watching and voting on the Grammys they don't care about black culture. Hmm. They're using what's most prevalent to them. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, I get that. Because on Tyler the Creator mean, called him out about that shit after he got on um, his award. Did y'all see that shit? What happened? I did. Um, I didn't uh, watch the Grammys. We said it was racist, pretty much. They racist. I gotta go back and check oh, it we out. Do that you already. know what I mean? Like I, 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 I honestly do. But again, I haven't like, watched a war show. Yeah, before. we knew that. Yeah. We knew they was racist. That's why I don't even get my niggas be like salty. Like you know how it's gonna go, bro. We got award shows. Like, we know the, the music. Awards. We know the shit was good. We but good. even even without it being racist, though, you know what I'm saying? Like fuck fuck the whole racism. Some of the times they just get shit wrong. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the time. Yeah, I mean, damn near <coughs> all of the time. Honestly speaking, like it is just one of those things to where who is either making the most money, has the most appeal. Um, Across board, as far as networks go, who's yeah. going to be able yeah. to bring more people to the yeah. network? Who's more popular? Yeah. yeah. 
And that that to me doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? What's the point in having the award show? They gotta keep their views up. Bro. I legit thought it's, I it's thought Macklemore. I mean not Macklemore. I thought Matt Miller was gonna win that shit because he had he was dead at that point. Yeah, yeah. And he was yeah. nominated. I was like, yeah, they gonna give it to him. And then Cardi won it. I was like, it's kind of weird because yeah. Nip had the best album then, and I think sales wise it was it was, it, still was better. it got the accolades on yeah. the side. So I don't know. I it happens, shit. bro. I don't know how the numbers work no more. I stopped caring after a while. I haven't really sat down and actually watched the Grammys in I don't know how long. Yeah, I only care about the Diamond Duval Awards. That's all. I yeah, care that's about. all that matters. Them shit's a fair. That's the only thing that matters. Did the Did the Ghetto Grammys turn into the Diamond Duval Awards? Cause you remember the Ghetto Grammys back in the day. Yeah, the I Ghetto Grammys, and I want to say then they had the they Ozone. Had that shit in, they used to have that shit in Durkyville. They don't even have Ozone. They don't even have Ozone magazine no more like that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. the Ozone awards used to be Ozone fucking wild, was wild was nigga in Orlando. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> Lil Duval hosting that shit. Remember that? Remember that time Fable? That nigga Trey beat up Mike Jones and that shit. Yeah. Remember that time that nigga Fable hopped out the audience, bro? It was just get that nigga work. Please, like that nigga was in the audience and started performing, bro. That's that's just some hood shit. That's crazy. But that shit, you funny. They used to say the address for the ghetto gram, and they be like, Durkyville. <laughs> like, <laughs> where at Durkyville? They're like, Durkyville. <laughs> Wherever you see us at, where you see him nigga. Gonna post up out of Fairly Dollar, nigga. <laughs> and <laughs> the like, feed shop. Start handing out Grammys out there. He's like, yeah, ghetto Grammys. Dirky, <laughs> well, okay, yeah, ain't got a building. Nah, we just out here, bro. Remember, they still had a Duval Diamond Awards at Plush, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Shut that shit down. I yeah. do remember that. Yeah, that shit like at the Caribbean spot on the north side. Yeah, yeah that, that shit. shit was the- <laughs> <laughs> What's that one stripper name? What's her name? Uh, Duval Diamond? Yeah. Uh-huh. She's supposed to be here tomorrow. Duval okay. Diamond going tomorrow? What, what strip club? <laughs> no, she's going to be here in the studio. Man, it, put it, your it, head back down. This <laughs> nigga, this nigga Devin act like he he. This man. nigga trying to find out how you gonna be here. So gonna I be can't, a, I can't love women. Yeah, Eric doing a girl. Nigga, talk that's right all that she you gonna do. Be here. What's wrong with that? That sound like pretty heterosexual to me. Am I wrong? That nigga be like, I she never, said hello. I think I love her. <laughs> I ain't never heard. I of like her. bitches. I don't really I'm sorry. That. I'm sorry, Joe, for being straight. I ain't never heard of her. I don't really walk, That's follow a stripper like at? that. I don't think any straight man is like, let me fall in love. As soon why you, as I, I don't can. know what Joe. I don't know what Joe's talking about. Why is Joe so concerned? I'm trying to finish the story. <laughs> why is Joe so angry? Let's think like women. Shut the fuck up about liking women, nigga. But yeah, it's crazy. I never heard of her because I don't really follow strippers like that. Pains like she's the biggest stripper in Jacksonville. What? And I tomorrow did Devin gonna call me. He gonna be something. like. She said hello, and I think I love her. Well, I, I think I need her in my life. I haven't told him what time she's going to be. I don't even. So. Thank God. Because be I'm going to be here. Oh, okay. okay, but when she do, I'm going to tell her I love her. If she say I didn't tell you what time she's going to be. <laughs> so you won't know unless you're going to be camped out front. Oh, I, I know her. I look outside. This nigga Devin just ain't out at his car. I'm like, nigga, what are you doing outside, nigga? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting yeah. till that bitch show up. I know who she is. This nigga Devin. I never heard of her. She's like the biggest stripper in Jacksonville. Duval Diamond, yeah. Yeah, apparently she was in the um she was in that video with Cardi B and what you call it? City Girls? I mean it's a lot, oh, the a lot, of, it's a lot of whole Yeah, apparently she won like the twerk. I didn't know I never heard of her. Oh, she, oh that twerk for me challenge? Yeah, yeah. she uh okay, she did I know a miss talking about. Like, she jumped yeah. off she did a backflip yeah, 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 off a ladder yeah, yeah, and was twerking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, <laughs> she she stayed right around the corner, actually. She like the R V D of twerking. Yeah. That's crazy. She's been on shit for some years though, ain't it? Oh. Duval Diamond. I don't know, man. Let's get to the other real niggas of the week, man. Uh, okay. Darius, he sent one in. Apparently, speaking of strip clubs, apparently Ed, Edron James got a strip club. Yeah, and he's I supposed did to have a that. stripper bowl this weekend. And this nigga just has an obscene amount of money. Oh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Super Bowl ready. Wow. That is a lot of money. Jesus Christ. Oh, they don't want to. No, they don't want to pay us no mind because we're in the Pacific. They don't even know this. <laughs> the Pacific got it going on. Bro, that's a whole mini van. That is he's crazy. From James from Bravo, right? Yeah, he's from Bravo, right? Yeah. He from Bravo, right? Or he from uh, from Mutt City? He down now. I know he down south for sure. Let me find out. Hold nigga, on. Nigga. So I'm what trying I, to what our fans nigga. said, we should go to the stripper bowl, bro. That might have to be the move, man. Yeah, that, 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 that shit little live. Ever and James, like you'll hear, you'll be hearing yeah, that, shit yeah, about that this nigga. Yeah, the, 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 the one that happened in Atlanta and Magic City was was crazy. Yeah, one, the, the one with yeah. the Migos. Yeah. Niggas yeah. made a song about that shit. Yeah, yeah. yo, yeah. They did have a whole video. They shot a video. They like fuck it. Let's just shoot a video, nigga. Who got some A7 cameras? Come over here now. That is crazy, man. But um, oh, man. 
Mm-hmm. Also, Darius said, uh, we the real niggas of the week. Along, he said, along with y'all for the OG Kobe shot challenge. Listen to it yesterday. Y'all was wilding and on a whole nother level. That yeah. nigga was quoting me a lot yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we might have to take that <laughs> If the bad sure. come, we might have to take that episode now. Yeah, you so like, That episode yeah. has to come Nobody down. should hear that episode. Oh, I might have to make a censored version of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so y'all ready for They Need Their Ass Beats? Uh, uh, yeah, why yeah. not? Uh, my first one is uh, Daniel Kula. I never knew that was his Kool- last name. Kalua? Kaluya. Kaluya. Koala. <laughs> The nigga from Get Out. Yeah. That's how we know him. Yeah. The nigga from Get Out. I'm going to be honest. When I saw uh, <coughs> Queen and Slim, yeah. I hate to take the the character out of the film. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But that's exactly what this made me feel like when I saw Queen and Slim. Oh, and I was like, like, nigga. like nigga from Get Out. <laughs> yeah, like he's a nigga that does not want to be a nigga. <laughs> well, look at his well, quote. Look, look I mean, at what yeah, the quote that's pretty much what he just said. This nigga I'm said, just Daniel. Who happens said, to be I'm black. just Daniel Just happens to be black So he don't want to be considered Defined by his race So he's going to be Daniel He's going to yeah. be Daniel I'm just DaVinci I just happen to be a nigga <coughs> Yeah I'd rather, you, rather somebody say that Than I'm not a I'm not a nigga I'm, I'm definitely a, a guy nigga. That like, He black as fuck too That's he You that can't nigga say that if you that black You should be able to say that If you that damn black well, he's Look not, how black he is He's I not mean, a blue He he might he <laughs> might just be he might just that live a different life because at the end of the day he's not a American nigga he's a UK nigga I'm so, sorry right. I'm about to yeah. say because his last name Kaluuya bro you damn hey, you always gonna be a nigga that's a yeah I think that's like a Nigerian <laughs> name but he's from like he's, he's from, from the UK, the UK from yeah London I don't know any, know any Stephen Kaluas so he's definitely gonna be a nigga for a while <laughs> Stephen <laughs> my next one sorry, is disappointing um this white guy I don't know this nigga said uh. He snuffs sneakers or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Cody's tribe. He made a video. It said, uh, "New two, new YouTube video up. Quickest flip I've ever had. Bought twelve and sold twelve the same day. Saddest flip. Two known the reason behind the rise in demand. So uh, he just pretty much he bought twelve pair of Kobe shoes, and apparently he made like a thousand dollars a piece from each shoe." Ridiculous, bro. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Saddest (laughs) flip, like (laughs) what the fuck? And why bring that shit up? Why make a video out of it? Like, yeah, why would you make it? I wouldn't tell nobody. Look at me, I'm I'm selling these shoes, and I'm profiting off of this nigga death. Yeah, like thousand dollar profit in one day reselling COVIDs. Fuck nigga, any white. Yeah, he white, so it's not. I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised at all. I had LeBron, but I'm gonna be nice. I'm not gonna what? do LeBron. I'm gonna pass. You had LeBron? Yeah, because under the circumstances, it happened. It happened uh, Friday, actually, last Friday. Oh, okay, okay. He took a picture with Bill Clinton, and he um, he put uh, the caption, "The first black president." And I had it for my they need to ask beat, but under the, I heard about I but under the circumstances, I'm gonna that, re- yeah. retract that one. Yeah. Then under I, what circumstances? Kobe uh, passing? Yeah. Uh, nah, that's still the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Oh! <laughs> this nigga Joe Sam. Fuck it, nigga. Right. That nigga right. need right. his ass. <laughs> right. That was ridiculous, it still bro. Made, it still... <laughs> he was wildin' like, nah. nah. Yeah, that was... So no mercy? No. Okay. Right. <laughs> he should not have said that one. Yeah, they, yeah. I was looking all that, bro. You didn't just... The first that. black... All right. Uh-huh. <coughs> All right, next one is on uh, Kevin Hart. He said this speech. This nigga was not saying nothing. Very simplistic, okay? In life, guys, he said I'm going to get one you write in the book. The oh, question man. of the day is how do you want your book to get? Mm. I'm around a bunch of men that are doing amazing things in their life. Basically, you're writing chapters. Chapters get good, they get better, some get worse. It's your job to complete that book to the best of your ability. My question today is are you focused on the ending of your book? And if so, how great do you want to make it? Why wow. niggas always gotta say speeches with this shit? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, what's the point of saying? Why you always gotta just pull niggas to the side to say a speech? Because they eating brunch. Shit like this. A brunch. I ain't never said no damn a brunch, speech at brunch. A brunch not complete until you wow. say a speech before you eat your cheese. Let me tell you something about trains. When, you, when, you, when you're on a train, you know CSX? <laughs> <laughs> when you're on a train track ride on CSX, yeah. you, you cross tracks, right? Yeah. Okay, don't let that track stop you. Uh, don't let that track stop you from being off one was, off track. That shit was pretty much, you remember how you used to do quotes at the end of the show? Yeah. That's pretty much what that was. 
I'm gonna bring that back for he wasn't back saying this end of this one. He wasn't saying nothing, bro. Feel, nothing watching that, I feel yeah. like I can say that shit. Right. That'd be that'd be very inspired. And that's that nigga said, "You gotta eat. What you gonna eat? Yeah. Right? Me mm-hmm. was like peanut butter and jelly, bro." Or steak in your belly. That's where that shit came from. Me, <laughs> bro, that's where that shit came from. Me and my sister joke about shit like that. So we would say like dumbass quotes. And be like, yeah, niggas inspired that shit. Like I put one on Facebook and bro, I got like like ten likes off that shit. Some stupid shit. Like, Ooh, like oh, I remember, I remember what I said. Ten likes is a lot on Facebook. I was Unless like, you like like one of them Facebook niggas like that be on there all day. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, don't judge a book by the chapters inside. And niggas was like, yo. That's, That's true. Deep. I felt that. Don't do that. Don't judge that. That's boy. what that nigga did. <laughs> they was just, and they was probably drunk as fuck. So they were like, nigga, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That nigga Jay Z was just excited for him to shut the fuck up. Yeah. And Kevin Hart do that shit all the time, and that's kind of unfortunate because this nigga got a lot of money. And when you see niggas with a lot of money, you want them to drop gems on you. And yeah. this nigga not deep at all. You yeah. like this nigga just be. Talking. Yeah, don't ride really a bike really if you think about hitting a couple hours on the weight. Well, I think his thing is uh, he's a comedian, yeah. like through and through. Like, but you would think he didn't know how to put some stuff together. Yeah, like, nah. string, so. got a every, whole damn public. Like, every every nigga, chance he's on camera. It's just weird when somebody got like a bunch of money and like no motivational thing come out of them at all, except the grind you see. Right. But they just be saying knick knack patty white, give a dog a bone for an hour. <laughs> Don't be like, ass catch him. You keep your Charizard like, before bro, it fly away. Like, come on, OG. <laughs> let me let me know how to get to the bag. Right. Well, yeah. Don't. Next time you get a Whopper, put cheese on it. Yeah. <laughs> come on. And cut it in half. Okay. And just eat it. That's Fuck like, yeah. Right. God damn. I want to be sort of the other videos, but Litter from Net was there for some reason. He would. Yeah, um, he, he would rock that shit. Rock that shit. For real. Athlete. I ain't never know that. Yeah. That's crazy. He wasting money. Just talking. <laughs> oh Shut the fuck up. That nigga had an ice pack on his hamstring. That wasn't that Rock Nation brunch with an ice pack, nigga. Like, this nigga got injured. <laughs> this season been over for like three, four months. That nigga ran into them man. cheese and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, oh, oh, oh. That nigga oh, injured himself <laughs> getting to the shrimp and grits. <laughs> nigga pulled a hamstring. Jay Z be like, nigga, what's wrong with you? That nigga be like, ah, 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 ah. I gotta put some water on it, man. <laughs> Jay Z said, well, eat up, because this might be a last one. Oh, right my nation. God. <laughs> yeah, Jay Z ain't reading up in that contract. I don't know. Jesus. You might be catering next year. <laughs> <laughs> that winner for a net holding the hors d'oeuvre. Hey, I used to run from them niggas. <laughs> Y'all got some they need to ask, bitch. Devin. Yeah. Also to the listeners that was sending us like stuff of like people saying bad things about Kobe and like the conspiracy theories and women saying dumb stuff about Kobe. Uh, yeah, like I ignored all that because I don't want to give them any platform on here. So. Yeah. 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 But this one definitely needs her ass beat. I don't know if y'all saw this nigga all. too excited. I don't know. If y'all, no, I'm not excited. I'm no. pissed. Nigga too excited. I'm pissed, and y'all should be too, brothers. <laughs> I know where this is going. When Kobe passed away, well, happened to have uh, the whole helicopter accident. You guys saw the the, knack, the letter that said niggers. I think it. people are mad at the wrong things. People should be more mad at the, if you look at the video, it's a picture of the helicopter on fire. Yeah. Right. People should be more mad at that right. than. I mean, yeah, that's that's bad too. People should be mad at Tim and Steve because uh, the family had to find out about this stuff and everybody found out through that instead of finding yeah, out. Yeah, how did they, they always the first. Like source to get the shit, like they be on it. Like, shit, I can't find out till his son showed him the phone on his phone. Wow, it's like because of TMZ he he, leaked it. Up he said he phone. cursed his son out because he thought maybe his son like was posting some Photoshop stuff to him. He said he cussed his son out. Yeah, I had crazy. to block a lot of people showing that video that day. I blocked a lot of people. I didn't yeah. want to see that shit. But yeah, she said niggers. I don't know. And, but I she tried to clear up. But she, she said, dude, she "I think she the said Knicks and the Lakers." I don't she said know. Knickers. I, y'all might look at me funny, but I don't think she said. Man, shut your ass up, nigga. You love milk, bro. I want to hear that shit. I mean, I do think That's she said milk, milk. Honestly, but I don't think it was intentional. You know what I mean? I don't think that it was a malicious thing. She unintentionally said niggers, niggers? like yeah. nigger navy. Yeah, I definitely she definitely put G's in that shit, bro. Yeah. I mean, shit, like. You got white folks that say nigga comfortably around black people. Definitely. Niggas, because they know coons. I right, just, right. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that same white, white person has a hard time concealing that shit around other folks. I don't want... 
I want to say she was in shock, but it ain't that much damn shock in the world. Nah, she moved on. Like that shit yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's how I think she was. That's what makes me think she said it. You know what I'm saying? That's what that makes me think she don't. She didn't say it. Yeah, I think well, she said nakers. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I say <coughs> nakers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, whoa, that, that you know what I mean? Like, forgive me. The Knicks and the Lakers came out. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm thinking about the Knicks. Mm-hmm. But what did she say? At Nick, all, Nick Kers. It wouldn't make any. I mean, none, none of that makes any sense. That's like when people try to get Tom Brady out of here because, like, when they saw uh, who the Air Reed mm. at that game, they tried to say he said, "What's up, my nigga?" And he had some in the tunnel. <laughs> Niggas was going in on that. It was like, "What's?" It's like he, it did sound. Like he said, "What's up, my nigga?" Oh, you talking? About, oh, Tom Brady. Yeah, the okay. Tom Brady shit. You, Ed Reed ago. wouldn't let that. Like, yeah, I know he would not let him say. It. That's why I'm like. If she would have said that, I'm pretty sure she would have paused, like a bigger pause than what she said. Ed Reed would not let a white man call him nigger without oh, him no, saying Oh, no, fuck that. You see the nigga fro? But let me ask this. Who would have checked, who would've checked her on, on set? <coughs> who would have stopped that on set? Nobody. Her, I would hope because herself. The goal is to keep... They're taught. You got to keep here's, moving past that. Here's shit. the thing. Mm. I don't think she said nigger, but... I'm. I have no problem with them canceling a white woman. So go yeah. ahead, bro. Let's go granted, ahead. If y'all granted, trying to cancel this white woman, granted, I don't know if you can say that. I ain't stopping y'all. I don't know if you can say that whole. I don't think she said it, but I'm for if you trying to get a fight. Yeah, but even then, I don't think you said that whole is talk thing. That's how to react? Because a lot of journalists was crying when they was talking about. <coughs> they supposed to be professional, but a lot was definitely balling up. Yeah. So I don't know if it's if it's just you know you taught, but shit, shit like this unbelievable, untimely death shit threw a lot of niggas off. I thought, it, I was, like I said, I thought it was a hoax, bro. I'm like, okay, TMZ, like, you can't really trust them all the time. Like, it's 50-50 with them niggas. And then, yeah. kept seeing it more and more everywhere. Right. But, I don't know. That I shit mean, is still wild, bro. I think it's easy to say something fast, you know what I mean? Again, that's what makes me think somebody might have put it on the prompters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. It could have been like, man, Kobe died, nigga. Like, Apparently, it said nakers on the. I mean, look at, I'm looking at this keyboard. It's trying to get that bitch out of here, whoever it was. The N and the L kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Probably Nigga, nah, K and I, K and A. I thought she said, but yeah, I thought K-N-E. she said Nick, Nick Kers. Said Nakers. Na- I ain't hear Nakers at all. Say, say Nakers fast, <coughs> uh, Mount. Nakers. Mm-hmm. Say Nakers fast, Mount. Say it fast. Nakers. Mm. Say niggas fast, yo. Niggas. Fuck. Russell, say niggas fast. Say it. Say it fast. Niggas. I'm just saying, Brad. I'm just saying if we want to sound like niggas, bro. It, it, it's pretty close. I don't know why I just... I didn't want to just... All right, man. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Who's saying. next with the dating this week? I didn't even think of one. Um, let me see if I'm at one before. Say Jim Henson like I told you. Right. Jim Henson. <laughs> what? <laughs> for the damn. For, for not, not making more cousins keep <laughs> puppets. <laughs> oh, that's right, cousins. The one cousin. <laughs> that nigga should have been. Fuck it, man. <laughs> I'm tired of working. All right, let's do some of the submissions. OG Flash, you got uh, Terry Crews. Y'all see the shit what happened with Terry Crews? No. Vaguely. I heard <laughs> of it, but I All right, really so basically what about. happened was Gabrielle Union, she got hired from America's Got Talent. Because she said niggas is racist up there, Whoa. and then Jay Leno was on there, and Jay Leno said some a joke about Asian uh, Asian person, and she said it was racist, and like she got fired. Mm-hmm. So apparently, like she got a lawsuit saying she was wrongfully fired. So um, Nick Cannon left the show too, so they hired oh, Terry Crews to replace Nick Cannon's character. It's like the host. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, he was interviewed, and he was pretty much saying. They, I guess like the Gabrielle Union shit came up. He was like, he pretty much cooned it up. He was like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't never seen no racist shit going on. So he's pretty much saying like, hey, I don't know, what, I don't know what her ass talking about. I ain't seen no racist shit. Yeah, he that bad, bro. He got six kids. So, but you know what's funny to me though? Like every one of his roles are around white, yeah, people. Like that. So he pretty much was people. like, he was like, man, I'm not for it. And people was bringing up how he um threw a woman, a black woman, under the bus. Because black women was sticking up for him over when he got his nuts grabbed. Yeah. And he just and he, he was turned, like a hoe. Yeah. yeah he, he turned his back and niggas was like, hey, this nigga a hoe ass nigga. And like, how the fuck you that big and you let a nigga grope you like that? 
Hey man, niggas undefeated. We told them about Jussie, they ain't want to listen. Mm-hmm. Then we told them about Terry Crews, like, hey, something ain't wrong, with, ain't right with that nigga. Yeah. <clears throat> Here you go. Every time I think about Terry Crews, like about when he was dead at the beginning of Terminator Salvation. <laughs> they pay a nigga to be dead. Yeah. Like, bro, what the fuck is this new movie he got? Uh, oh, Uncle John Henry? Yeah. He's supposed to be John Henry in the hood, bro, with Ludacris in it. What? Yeah. Ludacris. I never seen that. You never seen bro, that trailer? I, ball, I swear to God. Oh, it's a, oh, the, the movie out? Oh, Fuck it, I'm watching that shit. Oh, shit. It's a you gotta watch that shit. I'm gonna watch that shit February 1st. It's a Quan Flix exclusive. I've been <laughs> very <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch that holding a big ass sledgehammer. It looked like he has photoshopped them. I'm watching that That's shit the tonight. First, I'm watching that shit on Black, the first day of Black History Month. I'm watching that shit. Hey, we bro. need to watch that on the Patreon. Got to, bro. John Henry. We got to. Dude, we gonna watch that on the Patreon. We got to. That is crazy, bro. John fucking Henry, played yeah, by man, Terry, Terry Crews, bro. And he doubled down on it. I think somebody else submitted him for the They Need Their Ass. Damn, shit. double They Need Their Ass? Nah, bro. Oh, yeah. Uh, Aaron, he, uh, he, yeah, he. There's Lena one. Come on, bro. We got to stay in order. All right. All right. So, um, so yeah, he, he doubled down. He pretty much said, Terry Crews hopped on Twitter. He said, man, I don't give a fuck what, you, what y'all got to say about it. I don't care what my wife think. I'm like, hey, man, that's a respectable that's answer, true, but that's right? kind of crazy to say, nigga. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what my wife think. Yeah, he said, he said, I don't care. He said, I don't, he pretty much said, I don't care y'all black women to like me. My wife like me. His, it, his wife, <coughs> you ever seen his wife? Yeah. Yeah. That's almost. Mm. I'm going to take this screen down. This nigga Joe like can't it. focus at all. Yeah, what is he doing? This, I don't read know, bro. Everything. I'm I can barely see right now. <laughs> well, no, when it's the first. <laughs> Why are you reading? <laughs> Why are you trying to read it? This is the first episode with the screen, and I'm going to have to take this down. <laughs> that nigga talking about. That nigga talking about. <laughs> that nigga just. see right now. <laughs> this nigga not even focusing on podcast. This nigga just looking at the screen. Oh, this nigga I, I can barely see right now. <laughs> nigga, you was standing on that screen for a minute. <laughs> I thought he was reading the shit. Uh, I was waiting for it to read to me here. Yeah. All right, let's, let's, let's get back to this lean and shit. All right, so Darius, he sent this in. A nigga hopped on Twitter. He said, not going to hold y'all. I caught a vibe from, from one of the Lena Dunham IGs the other day. Okay. Like, Bruh. She was looking right. Bruh. Oh. This nigga tweeted. He said, hey, man. Hey, man. Like, he was excited. <laughs> come on. Like, come on. I ain't wild. <laughs> and he posted a picture. I'm trying to scroll the picture good. Nah. Oh. The tweet that I seen, <clears throat> it had a picture of uh, the tweet. Mm. Her. And then Gordon Ramsay that said, this shit is disgusting. <laughs> and that shit had me in tears. He said he called it vibe. <laughs> nah. That's the shit that was trying to smash Odell, right? <coughs> yeah, that's right. Like she was trying to smash that nigga. Yeah, they was, and she was mad about it. Yeah, they was getting, they was, yeah. He, they, no, yeah, Odell, white, feminist, he, white feminist was getting mad because Odell didn't want to fuck her. Didn't want to fuck her. She got yeah. that big ass belly button. But yeah. knowing Odell, low key, he probably did smash. Come on. You're trying, you're trying Odell right now. All right, bro. You don't know what a nigga like behind closed doors, bro. Twist. Mount know what he like behind closed doors. Mount do know that nigga. We don't know that nigga like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've been around, bro, a few times. <laughs> Clean it up, man. Clean yeah, up. I remember that time Mount sent me that video. It was like, Mount sent me that shit like 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Odell, 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 Odell pop blocking. He, like he was at my dog house when we was in New York, and he came to this door. That nigga came down. <laughs> that, that nigga hitting them focus and shit down the stairs. He, pop he like was hitting like them folks down, down the stairs. And Quan was playing like one of the niggas for the Giants on 2K. Yeah, me and Stan was supposed to go. They're like, every like 45 seconds, oh, they would just get off off the couch and just go dance. And they come right and sit right back down. That's, that's called cocaine. That nigga be like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is. All right, child, I'm sorry. Hey, I just hey, okay, to do that. That's not like Joe, actually. Yeah, that's All right, chill. You, you do be dancing. You do be right dancing, right. nigga. You do I be try to keep it contained. You still be dancing and singing randomly. No. And hey, you don't sing a little bit. You sing like the whole hook. I put in no phone. Don't, 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 don
It says um, they need their ass beat. A nigga tweeted, niggas fucked up in the house eating <laughs> twisting shouts. Huh? Oh! I've never seen those. <laughs> Reci- never that's that resealable. That, that's, not, that's not even how you spell so resealable. So once I've seen this, this nigga Jordan sent me this shit. <laughs> Black, Black power, power. <laughs> Black power, power Oreos. Oreos? Why? No. <laughs> it don't no have a way. fist on it. It's just a damn cookie. I get it. You know how they be calling black people it's like corny Oreos? So no. Black power. Black power. Damn. You want a box of black power? No. I feel woke eating them shit. I don't like <laughs> that. <laughs> You, you eat one, you're like, damn, I feel like I'm marching on Washington right now. Instantly go buy a dashiki. Damn. Like, nigga, fuck, I'm about it. I went to dashiki to, to uh, the funk festival. Is it the see it's a national anthem? <laughs> it's, you know, you be eating a bitch and you be getting some tickets to fucking, um, <laughs> what's that? It's the curl. You be at curl fest. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm about to buy these tickets to curl fest. Then next thing you know, you married to an Afro punk <laughs> chick. Like, oh, yeah, you be an shit. Afro punk. <laughs> I'm going to Afro punk, nigga. Musty and all. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, nigga. I'm going to Afro punk musky yep. with a gold jersey on. Some, <laughs> some cut off shorts. <laughs> my, knee, with my knees out. Fuck it, nigga. Wild. <laughs> That's what it, Afro punk be smelling like. With a Crenshaw hat. <laughs> that's that's a lot going on. Hey, right, I mean, my queen, I can, I'm sure I can meet my queen. Uh, she have a German Shepherd. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So that they need their ass beats. Got Another episode of RLP. I think it's like almost one o'clock in the middle, which is ridiculous. Yeah. I think it's been here since like seven thirty. But hey, yeah. it is what it is, man. Blah! Shout out to Kobe, man. Rest in peace to rest him. R.P. number 28, number 24, yeah, rest in peace, bro. Gigi. Rest in peace, everybody that was on the, on the plane at the time. Yeah, man. Be, yeah. For real. Crazy accident, man. But Live your life to the fullest, man. You just never know yeah. what it's going to be. Yeah, Yeah, man. Take care of your chickens, man. If you got somebody you love, man, make sure you, you let them know. You know, spend any time, any chance you get with them. You know, yeah. make the most you got of any them. issues with anybody? That's man, some stupid that ass shit, shit. did yeah. it, did it. Yeah, that shit. You never know. You don't want uh, something happen to you or them, and then, like, he's got bad air in there. You know, and I'm going to be honest. Even if it's on some big shit, like, if y'all are cool to where y'all ain't got to cross paths and shit, yeah. it's easy to get over shit and just keep your distance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, seeing Shaq react to shit yeah. was a shock to me because, you know, we knew their history. You know what I'm saying? We knew they Well, had- they've been, they been had... Kind of squash. They did it on NBA TV. Right, right, right. But what I'm saying though is, even though they did, it hurt him to know the last time he talked was on NBA TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Mm. I think sometimes we make situations to be bigger than what they are. You know what I'm saying? So, um, man, kind of reevaluate all of that shit. You know, let everybody know you love them. Spend as much time with. Those closest to you as you can. Make the most out of every situation. Live like Kobe, man. Give your all every day to anything that you're doing. Whatever you're passionate about. Whatever you love. Uh, whatever drives you, you know. Mama mentality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm establishing that the rest of the year. So. I already did it the other day when I called Devin Coochie. Yeah. 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 I called him Coochie. Man, Ma- if anybody do anything, Mama Coochie, I'm going to let you know. Nigga. I'm going to hit y'all up, man. If. Hey, these niggas left me out to drive, man. We were supposed to record some content for the Patreon on Friday. Bro. They both left me out My to cousin drive. passed on Friday, bro. Nigga, why you ain't tell me that? I thought Devin did. What, nigga? What did you tell <laughs> what me What the that? fuck? Now I feel bad. I don't remember. Yeah. What did you tell me that? Yeah, my cousin passed yeah, this nigga Friday. don't even know. Well, nigga, you sorry didn't to hear tell that. me. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. that. Yeah, my bad, man. So. <laughs> nigga. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry to hear that, I was about bro. to call y'all coochie, fuck? but. Yeah. Nah, yeah. You, was, you had it out your lips. You you saying it. Yeah, man. So that, like I say, that honestly speaking, like this whole weekend for me has definitely been like a, um, you know, uh, eye opening time to say, like, you know, you really do have to appreciate your time on Earth, your time with everybody near, um, <clears throat> the chances you get to see people. I know it's tough to make time for everybody. Yeah, yeah. but sometimes do, you do you what gotta, you do yeah. what you can. Yeah. yeah. That's about it. Anything you want to plug them out? Uh, I got a lot going on, a lot on the way. Just fuck me on Twitter and, and not you. You'll catch me. 
We coming. We're going to. We're going to, go to Japan. We're going to set that Japan trip up, man. We're oh yeah, yeah. We definitely going to do yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, happen, yeah, yeah. Well, if we got the time period, if anybody the RLP fandom, you know what I'm saying, you might want to fuck around and be hey, the one we, we can make down. a random trip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do a cultural experience with everybody. Do what you're talking about for do sure. Oh, matter of fact, Mount know about all that sake and shit too, man. Nigga got me fucked oh, up yeah. one night. <laughs> No, we're gonna take it though, man. We're gonna take it. A dick and suit goes even all. Hey, that's it. That's we're it. We're gonna get though, for sure. Yeah, yeah man. But, but uh, no, yeah, just follow me on Twitter and IG. You'll, you'll see what's going on. It's, it's a lot going on this year. I'm, I'm definitely. I was already kind of in my mama mentality bag, but then after that, it kind of gave me that. You know, we got to definitely get in the gym for real now. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You thought you was in the gym. It was like, now trying to find more opportunities and shit. Come on, intensify it, man. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm talking about yeah. for sure. So, yeah. Nigga, no. nigga yeah. slack on the podcast. I'll take that. You don't deserve that R.O.P. water, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> drink, drink some, drink Zephyr Hill, nigga. Yeah. Damn. You don't deserve R.O.P. <laughs> Drink wish water, nigga. Get up. Wish hey, go water, nigga. Go in this nigga. sink, nigga. Get up, this sink, nigga. Water. Yeah. Your water be gray. Yeah. It be cool gray. Like, drink that. You don't get R.O.P. You don't get no R.O.P. water, nigga. Fuck you. You're slacking. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. But, um. Tell you. So, the marathon continues. Mama mentality going forward. Yeah. Um. Man, yeah, let's make the best of that out of this year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we still got a lot of time left. Um, man, shit, I want to see everybody successful, so. Yeah. <clears throat> and matter of fact, send in us, send in y'all success. You know what I'm saying? Like, personally, I do like to shout out the followers, um, the Patreon uh, folks and everything that yeah. – Got things going on, you know what I mean? Like, shit, I see some of y'all shit. Matter of fact, Banks, you my real nigga of the week, you know what I mean? Like, Banks has been truly supportive of everything I've had going on musically and with uh, the new podcast and such, uh, writing rounds with Mr. Jefferson, which, you know, we're coming out with the second episode, but things have just been, you know, as you can see, life has happened, but... um. Yeah, man, you know, send us in some of y'all good things going on throughout the year. We love to highlight that uh, yeah. as well as, you know, anything y'all see we got going on, man. We appreciate all the support and love y'all show. Stepping it up, man. We got, we got two cameras. You know what I'm saying? A live street camera. Yeah. I don't know how it switched to the, and oh, the, and oh, the TV in this mount bro. cam today. We got, we got, got a, a TV over there. Nice table, you know what I mean. Soundboard. Hey, we didn't have all this last year. Brand you know? new shit, you know what I mean. Got to step it up. Yeah, yeah. new mics. Yeah, new everything. Yeah. If you gonna slap box an owl, make sure that owl don't work for T-Mobile. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad the quotes are back. With all that said, we're out. <laughs>